love sending Kim pictures because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like Too to do. funny, mama. <laughs> so, that I was like, I hit him too. Like a song. Too funny, mama. Hey, everybody. Oh, wow. You started out funny. <laughs> That is like, wow. Hey, everybody. I Welcome to Two Funny Mamas, and I am Sherry Shepard. Why did it, it was like you forgot who you were? It was, like, it was a hesitation. Because, can Morgan. you close the door? What? Say hi to the people. I did. I said, hey, everybody. Welcome to Two Funny Mamas. I am Sherry Shepard, and... Thank you, Rodney. Thanks, Rodney. The door was open. Yes, the door is open. So, hey, everybody. We haven't seen you guys since... We did our first Two Funny Mamas uh, presents Kim Whitley and Sherry Shepard or Sherry Shepard and Kim Whitley, depending on who you like the most and the best. <laughs> we, <have> been, <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't seen or heard from our viewers since we did that comedy special. Our yeah, comedy no, no, show, no, no, no. Rush Ticks, y'all. Thank you so much for buying. Thank you, guys. Y'all gave us a great show. Oh, my gosh. Everybody who bought tickets for the rush ticks. I like, mean, literally y'all don't even understand because we got to do a live and thank them too. You know that the people on Facebook that might not watch our podcast. We do. We have to do a live. Chris, when we get done, we have to do a live and thank the Facebook. But and we didn't even give Chris a shout out. Why would we have given Chris a shout I out? I told you, I felt like it was necessary. You keep wanting to hey. bring Chris and I, every time I'm like, why are we bringing Chris in this? It's because a it was special. a two funny mamas comedy special, and Chris is part of our podcast. Chris wasn't laying in the bed with us when we were talking about two funny mamas. First of all, we wasn't laying in the bed. With us. <laughs> <laughs> I was there in your heart. You you act like like Chris was there when 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 I was bugging well, you. Chris for three years. was. He's been here for over a year. Kim. So now, what? Why do you hate Chris? Because Chris likes me and not you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Kim, okay. don't. You, yeah, you got Andre. Okay. Don't I'm worry about. To... Don't worry about me. You all may have missed it, but uh, there were thousands shouting me out in the comments. So thanks, everybody. <laughs> Appreciate it. Just want to know Thank where you, you were? Oh See? man. It was such a trip, Chris. Uh, you all did great. It was because we started out when they approached us to do this comedy special. Um, we started out like really low ticket sales because yes. nobody's buying tickets. And then Chris, shout out to Chris. Chris was like, you got to do some lives. We can do lives simultaneously with YouTube and Facebook. Yes. And, you know, to really, it'll be a one long running commercial. We we started liking doing the lives. And you guys were just buying tickets and buy. And thank you so much for the people who donated tickets. Like not donated one ticket, but I'm donating five tickets. I'm do I bought 10 tickets. So we sure appreciate so that. People to we, watch that yeah, because no order or people that wanted to say people to say thank you to people. Yes. So, it was some people yeah. like uh, who bought tickets, you know, one was like, you know, my mom is in like hospice and not hospice, but I'm caring for her because mm -hmm. she have a ticket. It's some we're essential workers. So everybody who had asked for a ticket was able to get a ticket. So thank you so much to people who donated, who just came out of the kindness of their heart. And all of a sudden I said, Kim. We gotten up to 400 sold, yeah. and then we got up to 600. And I said, if we can get to a thousand, we'll be good. And at, by Friday afternoon, it was like 700. And I wow. said, well, that's okay. We're thankful for whatever we get. But when they told us 1,248 yep. people bought tickets, tickets, and we got a tip. We, oh yeah, people were tipping. People were tipping us. I didn't know there guys. was a tip section. That was so nice. Y'all bought tickets and then y'all was throwing tips in there. Throwing tips in there from Thank the bottom of our hearts. Next time I got a new bra. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was a trip because I said because people were tipping. Next time we have to have a charity component that if they want to tip, they can you know contribute to the charity. Why? Okay. I am a charity. Are you serious? I've been through COVID all year. And, pre, you know, I appreciate the little money, you know, to help me keep my lights on. <laughs> you going to act like we was just in uh, working. Don't forget, our tour was canceled. Our tour was so canceled. We didn't make and I'm kind of salty about that because everybody back on tour, and we ain't doing nothing. David Arnold got 92. David Arnold is like he got a 100 city tour going. If you guys go to David Arnold's page, uh, he got so Dave, many David cities he's A. going Arnold, to. I couldn't even you know? read the cities he was going to. Really? That. And that's why I asked if you were on some of those tours. You need to talk to him about that since you started him with the visibility. Thank you. This, almost, this ninja is everywhere. And he won't, he won't tell me today. Well, I did a lot for you because I made you a comic. That's what he well, told me. Well, he did. 
really you gonna give David all that credit? I was a comic. I mean, you were a comic David. before. Okay, so let me take. I was back. an improv comic. You were improv comic, which you still are. Your that's your strength. But what David did was David structured you. Mm -hmm. David got you settled down where you got jokes. Yes. You know. Now we did when we did our special. I just to let you guys know that was all improv. Like we were just talking. The only because we Kim came in jokes. and lost her mother in mind. I did. Like Don't, literally, so you I didn't know tell where, her what happened. You gonna yeah, really yeah. Tell the behind them? the scenes is the stuff they want to know. They got the funny because when we were on stage, it was gold. It was magic. The chemistry was there. Kim had been so busy all week working that she was just out of her mind. She had nine jobs that week and she really wasn't able to. It was to. a rough week. It was a rough week for her. She was getting to bed two in the morning and having to get up at four in the morning. So she was really busy. This special couldn't have come at a worse time for her. So she wasn't able to get to a comedy club to practice just standing on stage with a microphone. You yes. got to practice that. Yeah. I was able to do that the night before. Kim wasn't able to sit and really write jokes, you know, what she really wanted to say. So there was no structure in her head. We're both the same way. It was hard for us to operate like that. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. So I had already gotten Zen. I got to the club early. She did. We were supposed to be there about like three, three o'clock. Kim pretty much left her house at 2.55 in rush hour traffic on a Friday. <laughs> That's what it was. I got there 30 minutes before showtime. But still come in the door screaming at everybody. What are we going to do? I don't, I can't even scream because I will blow out the speakers. What are we going to do? We're just going to banter. But what is the banter? What are we going to banter about? Kim, uh, calm down. No, I'm not calming down. See, this is the problem. You like stand up. You love stand up. I don't. Yeah. I didn't say that. And what I are you looking just, at, Kim? Like, she was the Chris. I was, I was, because it looks like I'm looking at something, doesn't it? <laughs> just, you know, someone I'm standing. Like, just, Someone's you know standing there holding cue cards. <laughs> like literally, I said we're gonna talk about. Was we're both gonna talk about our kids. Her her mouth. We're gonna talk about our kids. What kids? Who? How do you spell Joshua? Be slow down, J O. I'm not putting slow down because you love stand up. I don't. It was like literally like <laughs> it was so bad. She was getting on support, and y'all know Siobhan. She was getting on Siobhan. Siobhan finally was like, I can't do nothing right. No, you can't. Like she was a maniac. Oh, no. I was not. She like, was such a, oh, and you over here getting yourself all pretty. You ain't pretty. You ain't pretty. Just like that. Yeah, it was somewhere along those lines, Kim. It was. Cause you had your little glam squad. Don't nobody, we're just doing a comedy show. You got hair and makeup and wardrobe. I was like, what's wrong with you spending extra money? <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. My glam team, who's like, they're the life of the party. They were on their phones like this. <laughs> and, and for the listeners, I'm saying they were on their phone just looking at the screen. It wasn't even on their, nothing on their screens. Kim just scared them so bad. Because see, here's the thing. Everybody is used to Kim's dimples and her smile. They don't see her when she's crazy, Kris Jenner crazy. Oh my so God. it throws them when they see that side. That's why when people always say I'm the bossy one, I laugh. Because if you could have seen that monster megalomaniac oh backstage, Going off at everybody. No, no, no I didn't talk. Just I didn't, Siobhan and I didn't me. talk to that white man in the corner like that. No, you didn't. It was just me and Siobhan. That was just, it. And yeah, I was. I was a little upset with some things, but I wasn't yelling. It was you. You see, need, Kim needed to know. Panda bear. You. You, you were. <laughs> but they're, but they're dangerous. They'll yes. hurt you. You are a panda bear. Cute, but you will hurt somebody. You wanted to know. Kim wanted to know everything we were going to say, and I said, Kim. I'll do the bulk of the stand-up because originally we're just- I didn't to... like that. I didn't like you thought you could handle the stand-up more than me. You was like, I'm going to do, uh, first she was like, I'm going to do 15, then I'm going to do 20 because you ain't been on stage. That's what you said. <laughs> I was like, excuse you, but we I agreed didn't... to do 15 each or 10 and But I knew 10. you weren't going to be able to do 15. You I can do, to, I could have done it. Are you kidding me? You just likes to run your mouth. <laughs> that was the running theme of the whole thing. That I like. Because you about. like to run. You running it now. <laughs> See, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all don't believe. Oh gosh. It. Oh gosh. What is, so what is it? Is it just the like the immediacy of it? Because like, why don't you have this like a month out, Kim? We don't work that way, Chris. Chris. <laughs> a month out. What are you talking a about? Month? We don't do nothing a month out. We do it like five minutes before. No. But we came up with a whole bunch of material that we wanted to talk about. 
that we were going to do. And then mm-hmm. Kim was going to introduce me. I was going to do stand up. We I was had two chairs me. sitting behind us. So we, one is supposed to go up and then the other, other just sit down. down. Sherry never sat down. You never sat down either. No, but you were supposed to sit down. I was supposed to introduce you. But we were we talking decided, about something. That's why I was yelling. <laughs> this is exactly people I want you to know. This is why I was yelling and frustrated. I said, what are we going to do? And I finally got an answer. We're going to go up together. We're going to do five minutes. Then I'm going to, then I'm going to say, okay, Sherry. Maybe I never said, okay, Sherry. <laughs> because I thought it would take a hint, but I could never get in. Sit down. So we just, okay, we just stood up there. We, we always, we had something n- new to talk about. So I just want people to know we never got to anything that was written on the paper. We did get to Demi Lovato. That was the only thing because I really wanted to talk about Demi Lovato. But other than that, that was all off of the top of our heads. It was just, we got into a conversation groove and it turned out to be really funny. I think it was like podcast on steroids. It was podcast on steroids. But that's, that's what that stuff is. Like that's a live two funny mamas. Kim, like, what do you, like nobody gets mad at, uh, I mean, I guess it's a little different, but like Attell and Jeff Ross do bumping mics. That's just them doing one liners, making fun of each other back and forth. Like I I don't, and, and I'm saying that is it's funny. So like, what's wrong with you two doing what you do? I thought that was great. It was, I think a lot of people did want to see us do stand up. That was in the comment, the comments a lot, you know, can you do stand up? Because yeah. nobody's ever seen and, us do stand up and we are able. But the, what they don't realize, and that's why I was getting angry, is that <laughs> when, you're, <laughs> when you're comic geniuses, uh. we had implemented and inserted yes. our stand up within yeah. the crazy right so Absolutely. if sherry said something i it's like throwing a ball and somebody catching it right she would throw a ball i'd catch it as soon as i heard demi lovato i was like oh boom we're going there right as soon as she went i jumped with her right that's so you can get them in when i started talking about covid and the vaccine i said yep. the vaccine sherry never heard that because i just wrote it it was a, a right. new joke so she didn't know we had discussed but finally she caught on i was like the vaccine does this and that and i, I did a rant but then she kind of missed it you weave, <laughs> you weave your material you weave that material in yeah yeah, you just we stand up in. I think people want we're kind of hoping to see the traditional stand up, and that's okay because we're going to do it again and we're going to tighten up the show where I will sit down and we. I need to tighten up my vagina before I tighten up the show. Okay, all right. Uh-huh. What is uh-huh. happening here? Yeah, the running theme of the show was uh, urinary incontinence. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get that sponsor. We need to have the fans sponsor this okay. tour. Like we, uh, my role manager Kevin was like, if we can get a sponsor, I was like, okay. the Walgreens fans, need to get us. Remember the Walgreens? I'll okay, the, heck yeah. yeah. So they're, shoot, they're, they're, uh, we need to go uh, to all the lady issue endorsements. But um, we had an amazing time. We did an hour and thirty minutes. We did ninety minutes of stand up, and um, it was really exhilarating. This is our first time being on stage together, uh, doing stand up for pay my was, dad said he was going to talk to you about that he made a comment on i think he said so now sherry shepherd thinks she can stand up there next to you he said it again today and you said, tell david him. arnold i'm still better than he him. said he got me ready to be he said you wouldn't have been ready to stand next to sherry <laughs> if it wasn't for him that's what he said I was like, david just you know david cannot let it go okay he's such a narcissist i i feel for that's what you is. <laughs> julie I'm his sorry. wife we love julie dearly but we pray for her and light candles for David's wife, yeah. Julie. Because this is what David said to Julie. And I'm not gossiping because he's it's very public. He said it before. When they were talking about at one point separating because they were going through problems, David told her, Why are you gonna leave me and try to do this with someone else, Julie? You might as well stay with me and figure out how to work it out. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what a narcissist our friend is. You might as well stay with me, Julie. God damn. Now, what about, <laughs> what about these comics I see uh, saying he's like a great mentor? A lot of people giving him compliments out there. I will never compliment David. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll set him on fire in his life. I, I will he never. His head he, is too big. If he his, was, if David's he was, head is if he way was too really big. Humble. humble and, and, yeah. yeah. He, he told me today. He said, what he say? David said to me today, he was like, I'm not, I'm not uh, conceited. I'm humble. I'm not arrogant. I'm, I did like this. You gotta be kidding me. I told him to open up the dictionary, go Google it. And where you Google arrogant, there's your picture. There's this picture. Alexa. I told David, I told David, I hate you, love you the most. 
Oh, yeah. I do love him. I love David Arnold. I, I would do anything for David Arnold. That's how much I love him. I used to want to do anything, but I'm not doing <laughs> shit. Damn. I lo- look, we I having really- a little argument right now, me and David. Yeah, y'all having oh, a little Oh, a real tip. one? But Dave is so narcissistic. He don't feel so he don't really- I'm doing his show this week. He wrote this part for me on the show. Because David has five shows on the air. And he will let you which know. Which he will let you know at every given turn. I'm you might sorry. say, David, could you loan me $2? Well, you know, I can't because I have five shows I've what? created yes. and developed on yes. the air. Yes. He told me today. And I was just like, I'm just doing this for you as a favor. I said, I wouldn't be doing this. So, you know, I'm doing this show and I told them, I said, if David gives me any direction, I'm not taking it. That's right. Talk I to said, me. Everybody. <laughs> I said, I'll talk to the director. I said, David comes on this set. He came to my dressing room. Like, Come on, Kim, don't be like that. You know, I love you. And then he jumped on me and started humping me. Yeah, and that's just, right. I should sue him. You should tell him you're pregnant. Yeah, I could. I'm going to talk to Julie. So let me talk to Julie because yeah. I'm pregnant. <laughs> he would well. laugh. So if y'all want to know who David Arnold, if you didn't see David, David Arnold, he a Arnold. Yes. yes, I don't know what number podcast oh, what, he was on, what number podcast? but he was a guest. He filled he's in brilliant. for me with him. He's brilliant. And he's got a, a comedy special out on Netflix called Fat Ballerina, which Kim produced. Very, very I. funny. I.E. she gave him all the money to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Those are, that is not she cheap. Gave him money to do it. Kim produced it. And it's really, really funny. We love David. And uh, he said he was, when we come to St. Louis, David said that he would come. Are you talking about about that show that uh, I put together that uh, is about me? Here we go. Now it's about Chris. I swear all men are narcissists. I I got you my birthday gift. Okay. I just didn't feel like rapping it. I forgot. It's been sitting on the table. I meant to wrap it. Yeah, I got your birthday gift. You want to open it? Okay. No, it's a real gift. First of all, you just, you totally interrupted uh, Chris. Chris's flow. Oh, finally. Oh, I interrupt Chris. You always interrupt Chris. <laughs> <laughs> but I have, I, I, have, I have the kindness in my heart to go back and say, Chris, what were you saying? I'm sorry. You don't. That's me to hear your name. Hey. Today, Chris was talking. Well, okay, Chris, what were you saying? Yeah, honey? and then Let's get away from Chris. So let's go back to an actual question. The live show from Rush Ticks, where you all crushed it. It was hilarious. You did a wonderful job. Yeah. So w- where was the you. set? Where was the set? Uh, like, where did you physically do the comedy? Oh, was it a place called that. The Woodshed? I was going to say the bandwagon. It's, <laughs> it's, called the woodshed. it's called The Woodshed. If you're ever in LA and you need a studio, a sound stage, it's an amazing place called The Woodshed. Well, they woodshed. did a great job. It looked really good. Owned by Greg Grumber. Yeah. yeah I'm glad we didn't do it in Kim's enough. garage. You're right. It was better looking. Yeah, because because in your garage you got from your daddy you got his walker over there. I got okay. you got that chair that you sit in when I you gotta take a bath and that, you can't stand yeah, up. What? <laughs> you got that seat that toilet, toilet, that little high chair. I got a lot of medical equipment. <laughs> you got a lot of medical equipment. <laughs> that always ends up in people's garages and stuff, right? It does. <laughs> yeah. It's always the one time things you buy for old people when they come yeah. and you don't know what to do with it afterwards. Leave it there. You just leave it there. Until you get old enough to use it. Until you get old enough to use it. Yeah. So you figure out but a way to I use it during a comedy around. show. Okay, you want to set my no. gift? You don't... Happy birthday. I forgot to give this to you. I think this is really offensive the way you look at it. It's, it's hat. Okay, <laughs> I'm describing it for the people that's listening. The box is already open. It's in a brown box that came to UPS. Uh, she opened it, so it's half open, half not. She mm-hmm. just kind of threw it on the desk. I like, could. you know, I ordered this and canceled it, but it still came, so here. <laughs> That's what it, you know. No, I knew that you wanted this. Someone told me, so I ordered it, and I was like, oh, let me put it in the bag and put it in it. But every time you come over, I forget to wrap But you it. couldn't even, like, wrap it or just throw I it in the I should have bag. wrapped it. Oh, I, this is really kind of, like, disrespectful. Okay, let me, I'll give it to you later. I'll put it no, in the bag. No, no, okay. no, don't bag. worry about what it. What do you think it is? Yes. J- a jewelry. It's jewelry, because you like jewelry. Because I like jewelry. Okay, let's see what I got. Here. And I said that because I saw the, the <laughs> You thing. saw the thing. Okay. Either that or, you know, I wanted a car. Oh, you wasn't getting a car. <laughs> you Kim, you, Kim you blew it. You totally should have. Kim, you should have said, you know what? Look outside. You, you know, I really want to do that. Do that to my mother. Oh, every year. Every Christmas, my father said, look outside. So I heard that so much growing up. It was a place saying, one year I bought her a BMW after I was on television and stuff. I said, look outside. She's like, y'all quit playing. I said, no, really look outside. Oh. It was a BMW for both of them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. the best yeah. thing when you, you know, 
and I'm when you can buy your parents something that they really want because like I didn't get a BMW. My my dad is from Chicago, so in, in Chicago, Chrysler three hundred. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was a new What's... BMW. Oh God, you wasn't even a new BMW. You had tenant windows. Oh gosh, they kept getting pulled over. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Gangster. My oh gosh. Was like, you gotta put some crips. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he so to get rid of the car real cut quick. that, cut that, Chris. Cut that before we get targeted. You mark say, mark you that. Say, you yeah. kill. Mark that. What's wrong with her? Uh, yeah, she that's said, it. We gonna get killed for the car. This is what we're talking about. This is why okay, I'm all right. I did. Are we, uh, uh, you know what's funny? So we're good. I was. I uh, <laughs> I think we're good. We ended on good terms. No, we didn't. Okay, I'm not even. I'm not even going to tell a relatable story because I don't want to create more editing work. I'm not putting myself in that. Yeah, because we're this podcast is we're doing it on a Wednesday night. This is going live tomorrow. Oh, is it? Yes, this is the podcast for Thursday. Well, this is because you were so busy, so we can't be having no editing moments. Okay, you understand? I got it. Okay, open your gift. This is it's in a it's in a purple bag. It looks blue, but it's purple, which is my favorite favorite color. That's right. In the whole wide world, I, Kim and knows I love jewelry. And she got. Uh, oh, well, that's weird. But okay, you got that too. No, okay. She gave me a necklace from Simone Smith, LL Cool J's wife. Has the coolest jewelry line. As a matter of fact, I have her jewelry on now. Mm. One says, a necklace says Jesus. Oh, okay. And then this cross. This is by Simone Smith. Oh, wow. This is her jewelry. With the thick necklace to it? Yeah, with the thick chain. That was expensive. Mm-hmm. These probably cost more than that, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you want me to do about that. But I like the Jesus. And I saw this necklace. It says, Mommy. Um, <laughs> Which I love. It has a little diamonds on it. It's got a little. Di- it says. Show it says, "Mommy." mommy. It says, "Mommy." Yes, okay. it's mommy. It, Which I think is so. It, I, well, you, you, you. Are, my it, hands. Yeah, your swing. hands. So you just gotta let it swing. I think they'll be able to see mommy and put it on the orange. Oh, it, is. it says, "Mommy." Now, here's the reason why this gift is a little bit weird. Um, I told Edie, my assistant, that I wanted Jeffrey to buy it for me mm. as a Mother's Day gift, which oh. it never came. Oh. Cause she didn't get the message because she don't be checking the text that I send her. What? So I never got it. But why would you give me a mommy necklace? Like as opposed to See, this is what some I'm talking about. Earrings. Disrespect. No, it's not. No. no. This is what I'm, talking about. I'm not Chris, being disrespectful Chris, at all. Disrespectful. It's, just, it's just a weird kind of gift. It's not weird. This is the thing. I called your sister and I said, what does she want? Oh, so she did get the text. She said she wants that Simone a Smith necklace, mommy, or this three thousand dollar Louis Vuitton purse. Yeah, I didn't want that purse. I said, <laughs> I said, I'm gonna get her the necklace. <laughs> I did say I wanted that purse. Why you didn't get the purse? I'm not getting you that purse because it was more than me trying to give you a party. If you're taking the party, it only Can cost me two thousand dollars. Is that you? <laughs> Is that you in the Starbucks line saying, you know what? How much are the people's uh, behind me's breakfast? And like, oh, fifty three dollars. Okay, tell them never mind. <laughs> Get I'm, not being, I'm yeah. not being ungrateful. I like it. It's just a weird gift because I told it's, Edie, my assistant, I wanted Jeffrey wants. to get it, not she from you. I didn't want it from she you. She said, "Well, I know she, but she didn't. You didn't say that in the text. You said, no, I didn't say have Jeffrey but, get but it.' But that doesn't mean she said she wants this mommy necklace, not from you. If I'd have known that, I'd have given it to Jeffrey to give to you. Well, that's what you should have did. You should have wrap this bitch no. right back up. Put it in the <laughs> box. Yeah. We're gonna, hey, we're gonna edit this memory. Is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Take it off right now. That's you going over to Jeffrey's house. This whole argument to Simone Smith, so oh, she so she could run it. I'm gonna put it on. Kim, right. Kim, Kim, what's what's Sherry doing? I want you to break this Sherry down for everybody. Is trying to put the mommy necklace on with her other gold necklaces, and I think as a friend, it was weird for me to get the mommy necklace, but I thought yeah, it was, was. kind of cute. No, mommy, you're a mommy. I'm a yeah, mommy. Yeah, but you don't buy a mommy necklace for a mommy. Why not? Why? Why does everything have to be connected and sexual for you? Why can't it be like, oh, she's such a good mommy. You're right. That's weird, Kim. Okay, you know why? You know what? Why is weird? Because maybe you're a weird mommy. That's why. Uh, well, even if I was a mommy, <laughs> you would get to get. I mean, you really should have got me the purse. No, you trying to get thousand dollars out of me. That was an expensive ass purse. Yeah. I was like, you tripping? I'm just saying. I that think- was my choices. You could have gave a list of five things for 
And I could have got a bunch of girlfriends together and got you the purse. Well, why we did you do that? On you. Huh? How do you do that then? Because it was after your birthday. Well, I'm just saying next year thinking. Give her a hand. Give her a hand, Kim. Come on. It's, Give... it's think better. That's all. No, it's really, it's really to, disrespectful, Chris. To think. Chris, if I got you a gift, would you say, oh, why did you get me the daddy thing? I'm not a daddy. It might have been weird. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's a little. that Chris necklace that said daddy, I'd be like, that's no, weird. No, it could have been, hey, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm missing all the point right now. That's I, well. I love the gift. It's the mommy necklace. Uh, I love it. So I got mommy. I get Jesus. I got you look gangster. <laughs> <straight. laughs> so gang. I got three necklaces on. Right. I got one to say Jesus, one to say mommy, right mommy, That's Jesus, and a cross. That's mm. where it gotta go. It gotta be short. Jesus got mommy issues. No, you have to short it because I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the mommy on. So we, we'll just leave it here. Leave it this is all by Simone Smith. We love all her. Those. She can't even do a good commercial because they all I got them all twist it up but right. thank you for my necklace this is very cool kim it's weird but it's really cool all right what did your other friends get you um nothing see, see what i'm talking about chris okay see what I'm talking now about? we're now we're we're scratching the surface a little bit what's going on here okay it's it's pretty. Anything. it is really pretty because it's none mommy. of your friends somebody got you something um, i got you a basket of apples. tisha can yeah you got me a basket of apples Every absolutely uh tisha campbell got me a a perp a bible Covered in purple leather oh, nice. and a purple vibrator. Excuse me. Oh, those two don't go together. Yep, she be in the same package. Oh, she bought me a, a purple leather. See, that was a nice. So, because purple is my favorite color, so she bought me a Bible with it embossed in the cover and the back cover with purple leather, soft baby, soft leather, and she bought me a purple vibrator. Was that so? We so she wash it off and give it to. Okay, you're nasty. So you can read about where the vibrator takes you. Yes, but I refuse to discuss this oh, like, in, that's in not chapters nice. of the Bible. Ooh. She's I the mean, one who got the vibrator Bible combo. I for what, her what, she she what, what, Sheila over. E. bought me candles. Oh, that's right. She said, lean over. What? That's a sight right there. Look outside. Look at these old men playing basketball. Was that Andre and Riley? Oh, got some. <laughs> <laughs> They're all playing basketball My outside the car. Kyle, her brother, Rodney, and Andre, Joshua's dad, and Andre. It's not they friend. got stomachs, but they, you know, how you see people. They are old grandpas. On the court, they be moving off fast. No, they slow. They like this. They, they, look, they still talking about the shot. <laughs> Can I share with you? Listen, there are still NBA players my age. Barely, barely. I'm 36, so that's topping it out. But I'm telling you, when I walked in to get my shot at, uh, I went to the St. Louis University recreation center and i crossed across some basketball courts i could dunk when i was like 14 i played basketball for 12 years i walked across those courts and i saw those <laughs> those kids just shooting around i was like that is uh that is a game far past me my friends like it is it happens the basketball is so unforgiving yeah you see it at the gym all the time you'll see all the young ones playing in that old head come in so I mean, y'all know how y'all y'all ain't never and get in there be winded in the first three oh. seconds it's not even. A, yeah. out. I see when I'm on the treadmill or my dog on elliptical all the time. Yes. Little old head walking and talking look, mad, look, look. mad crap. Kyle, look at him, look at him. It, but it's so funny because they in slow motion. <laughs> oh, it's tough. It's like we really need the camera to get all three right. of these guys. It's, it's, oh, it's playing a basketball situation. Oh let's, my goodness. Mm. Uh, let's see. We have. Oh, talk Emmys. Yeah, there was a there was something I wanted to talk about with the Emmys, and um, so my show. Well, David congratulations Brown. to Kim is what I wanted to say. Said thank you. Chris. Well, you didn't have to say that, but Go you, ahead, well, she did. You did have Tell to. Tell them why. Yeah, you Chris. did. Yeah, you did. Oh, you, this, why, there's, there's a nom Two funny mamas got a nomination, right? Oh uh, no, really. Chris. One, I'm saying two funny mamas as a show has collected one Emmy nomination this go around, oh. but just yes. just the one. That's to my true. knowledge, she has one. She has an Emmy already for The View. I am on a show called Daily Pop, and um, we guys. got uh, we just got an Emmy nomination. Congratulations! Thank you so much. They got an Emmy nomination for Best Entertainment uh, Talk Show. Yeah, something like that. Oh, you don't even know. Is he playing basketball in socks? Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's what old men do. They play in their socks. And slippers. And slippers. And shoes. Like, dude, will you stop just shooting threes? Do you play defense? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's hilarious. So Kim show was nominated for an Emmy for best entertainment uh -huh. uh, talk show. And, uh, 
And you're super dish. happy for her. I was very happy for Kim, but I, I immediately called our producers and went, why isn't Dish Nation getting nominated for an Emmy? And here's what was pointed out to me. The Talk, The Real, and The View, none of those shows got nominated for an Emmy. Kelly, Car Kelly Clarkson did, Drew Barrymore did, Tamron Hall. Your show did, because all of you guys are in the studio. Like, oh. All shows that were done from home, none of them got nominated. Why not? That's not fair. Why would, what's the point? I don't know what the criteria was that they were looking at, but it's Ooh, definitely- Those it. people were brave. They were willing to get caught. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> they don't consider a real show. You taping it from outside your bathroom. I don't know. Like, sure. Well, but I'm still happy for Kim because I, <laughs> if I'm not going to win an Emmy, I want Kim to win an Emmy. I mean, uh, she, I would love to see an Emmy somewhere amongst all of this stuff in her office. That'd be a doorstop, you me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm really glad. Uh huh. I'm curious, do you all, you were one of Drew Barrymore's like first guests. Like, shouldn't you all get a little piece of that Emmy if she takes one home? It'd be nice for a little piece of it. Yeah. What, is she supposed to break off the arm? Yeah. Little, I think that's little, fair. I don't take a piece of nobody's stuff. If I don't oh. get it myself, I don't want it. That's, that's a lot. That ain't that red on the bathroom wall. <laughs> <laughs> She's been taking pieces of people's stuff for a long time. I'll take a piece of your soul. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm really excited for Kim. I, I think, do you get to go to an No, because it'll probably do virtual. So it's not like they you'll might. get to go to an Oh, not anymore, right? Yeah, they're kind of opening up stuff. But I'm, I'm just excited for Kim. That's really, you know, that's just very cool that a show that you're a part of mm -hmm. has been nominated for Emmy and that acknowledgement. So it actually is very, very cool. So I'm just waiting for Kim. Congrats. Great job, you all. It is. It's Thank like you. congratulations. Great job. I appreciate that. And I don't know. I, um... Well, I was curious, Sherry, if I may. Uh, Kim took her first show off last episode, and Gary with the, tea, with the tea filled in, and it went really well. Gary was so funny, yeah. and everybody loved him. So thanks to Gary for coming on. So we have to have him on as a guest. Yes. He's so, like, flamboyantly funny. This is what he says to me. I, I didn't expect it. We were talking about poly being polyamorous because Willow Smith is polyamorous and she was explaining it. And Gary with the T said, Sherry, honey, child, I tried it and it ain't nothing you want to do because I tried it. And I said, you did? He said, yeah, I had a dick in my mouth and a dick in my ass. And I just, a dick in my book. And it just was too hard. Literally, Kim, that's what he said. And I was like, what? Like my eyes got big and coonish, just like yours. I was like, what? It was so funny, Kim. And, all, and everybody, this is what everybody loved about Chris, him snickering the whole show. Because all you heard was this. <laughs> first of all, first of all. <laughs> that was, that was Chris snickering. like the whole show. He said that on the That's what he said, Oh, Kim. he did. He for but, sure definitely said that exact so statement. Is you weren't offended. No. It, you were shocked. And then you were cracking it because he's got a heart of gold. So when he says things, you well, there's only a couple places you can have it. How many places do you have it? Both places. That's what was crazy. It was so crazy. I said, "Oh my god!" But people love Gary. They love he was great. But they miss you. They said we love Gary, but we miss you, Kim. And oh. they and they were thanking me for coming out of my comfort zone and Thank having you. a guest. Oh, good. <laughs> That's just the funniest that thing I could you comfort zone ever hear sherry has been alongside anybody in the business sherry could come on and do a show with a turnip and it would be entertaining and you get a you get a seasoned professional who's hilarious next to you and people are like oh bless sherry she worked so hard she got past her thing i'm like this guy's a fucking pro <laughs> like, of course it was good what's that yeah right <laughs> Like some people, like we we have to bring Gary on because you would love to hear his opinion. Oh, he's great. He's, he's really he, and he said another thing he said was really funny. He told me how he started. He was working at Steve Harvey show, um, like as an intern or something, and it was two Garys, and they called they called the one Gary regular Gary, and they called him Gay Gary. <laughs> And he just said, like a matter of fact, and they called him regular Gary, honey, and they called me Gay Gary. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, but I guess it was so funny. So I told, and he called, he was like, honey, they said they loved us. It was, it was good. Please ask Miss Kim if I could come back. 
So I heard somebody else called me and was like, that Gary on your podcast was so funny. So I was I was very excited about that. So um, but don't take don't do it again. Don't take off anymore. No, I got <laughs> Yeah, God forbid. What do you think about that water? Oh, when this water is good. This water is called um, just water. It's called just water. Is that is that it's, Will, it's Will blown Smith's out. sons? Uh Oh, is this uh, uh who is Will Smith's son? Jaden. Jaden, his is in a box though, isn't it? Oh, is just it? water is by Jaden Smith. Maybe that is. They it's water with lemon. That one's oh, it's, but it's a good lemon. It's a different. It's, it's not with... that weird lemon. It's really tasty. Yeah, it's very tasty. Okay, well, all the celebrities is making stuff. We need to come out with something. What are we gonna come out? We with? got t-shirts. No, we need to now. We have to update our merch store. Okay. I was thinking that yeah, maybe a, a refresh. Like we have to come up with some maybe oh nipple clamps. Okay, Kim, it's a family program. Oh. Yeah, we just had a twelve-year-old girl this. wrote. Then why'd you just like I'm your twelve-year-old? I know I shouldn't have. I know I'm well, a black the twelve-year-old it? girl. No, because okay, it was funny. Look how long my toenails are. Oh no! Don't don't <laughs> don't do not. <laughs> Well, look how big my toenails are. We have lost Kim Whitley. This is out of Bad. control. Like, Can you, know, you all play down fast? You can't write it up. Listen to me. Now I'm curious. I've seen some photos, and you all are uh, are look to be maybe getting out a little bit more. Maybe you went out and had some dinner. How's life in LA with? Uh... Yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. Let's hear we about to, it. Uh, thank you, Chris. We went to Kim. Call me up because I had gone to see. Lunell, the comic, who also filled in for me with Kim. She was doing stand-up comedy in Dallas, so I flew out to give her some support because it was only a two-hour flight. The flights was really cheap, so I flew out to... Sometimes you just want to see people you know in the audience. You just want to know that they're there. Okay, it nice. just, you know, and so, and she cried. Don't come see me unless you tell me you're coming. No, I don't want to see that. an audience. I'm not, I might have a little hookup happening that night. I was going to say, yeah, Kim's doing oh. the table 34 tall guy. Yeah. That's... <laughs> Yes, yeah, that's, that's exactly it. So you text me and say, I'm about to surprise you. <laughs> so you can tell me to go back home. Sherry, could you imagine you fly out and then Kim just nods at you? She's like, okay. No, <laughs> she no, walks man. on by. I saw that. High she, boots. Sent, she sent me the video. Should I send it to Chris? Yeah, I think I will. You sent it a video. She, oh, she sent you the video? She sent, she sent video. me the video. Oh, no, no. Is that the, her trailer, though? Uh, that wasn't the trailer of her show, was it? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, because I had on thigh high boots and she said, Why do you look like a superhero? And I look like I'm dressed in pajamas. It was very funny. She brought Sybil Wilkes oh, on stage. Yeah, so don't worry about it. She brought Sybil Wilkes on stage from the Tom Jordan Morning what Show. Is it it's just a trailer showing it's brilliant because she I'll she just show you the Kim, is it the two of them? Huh? Is it is it Sherry and Linnell? It's Sherry and Linnell, but it's Well, not take a screenshot. I was going to say, take a screenshot, send me that. No, I'll, I'll just send you a picture because y'all trick. I got this, first of all. Because it's too, it's, it's it's so quick, you're not going to be able to take a screenshot. First of all, you're talking to me and Chris, and me and Chris know what the hell we doing. No, we don't. <laughs> Kim's a techie. Come on. That's the problem. Okay. I'm going to send it to you, Chris. I'm Watch this, send you Chris. A picture. This is my favorite part of the podcast when both of you are looking down away from the camera. It makes okay, me so happy. Okay, sorry. Chris, I'm good. You're going to learn that one day. You're going to find out, yeah, Kim is good. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, damn. Uh, thank you. Oh, exactly. Wait, exactly. Man. Exactly. When Kim says, when Kim says, uh, look here, Chris, look here, oh, good look here, Chris, I got it. I got everything under control. They're not going to tell us you, because it don't look like you and you look like, uh, because it's, you don't have to, it, it's and just, what it's club simple. were you, what club did you go see her at? We went to see her at the improv, Chris, but I'm here in get, LA. No, no in I said in here. Dallas. Oh, see, it, she got mad. I said Dallas. See Arlington. Arlington was, Improv? Yeah, the Arlington that. Improv. Look at that. See what she got on? Okay, I look like a monster. You got me looking <laughs> down. That's oh, also, let me get let oh, me, I, hit my knee. I look like like the oh. abominable snowman. That was oh, that's what you oh, oh, my God. oh I hit my knee on the desk. Oh, oh, that's oh, terrible. That's a, oh what? I hit my knee on the desk. Oh Lord, the funny bone. Oh Lord. Wait, wait, I thought she was at the improv. Oh gosh! Oh, Chris, you got choked. <laughs> oh, Stop oh. it! Oh my gosh, that's so. Oh. What just happened here? I hit my my funny bone. Where do we okay. lose you? Where just where do we lose you? You know what? I'm so sleepy. I have all these lines to memorize. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> yeah, she's just, what? She's just got a lot of stuff going. on. I do. I'm I'm absolutely exhausted. But I started listening to my friend. I'll be honest with you. 
I had carbs today and I probably shouldn't have. Cause uh, I'm in a real sleepy, lethargic. What were the carbs? Huh? Just a lot, just too much. I ate chicken <laughs> salad. I ate, uh, yeah. it was just, I ate potatoes. I ate some tacos. It was bad. So, um, I'm hey, have those days. You do? Yeah, right, I, I mean, it happens. That I sent you three different pictures. Right, and one of her pictures, she has a prostitute wig on. No, I don't. It's just the hair is red. I've been wearing this red wig. It's a prostitute wig. Because I like the wig. But you also like being a prostitute. No, I just like the wig. And so I was putting it on because I'm I'm Look show Chris. I'm sending all of these pictures to Chris. But I was looking for a picture of us at the club. You, me, and Lisa Ray. Oh, there's with Ron Isley. All right, that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying, Chris. Okay. Yeah. So we could tell them what we did for the weekend because it's actually very, very fun. And the one with D Nice. What are y'all doing for Memorial Day weekend? People, it came, it crept on, up on me like a thief in the night. I said, I'm going. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> Old yeah, it really did. It's really did. It's really up on me like a piece of night. You're using biblical terms. Oh, man. Terms. Oh, my God. But it oh. did. I was like, man, and I, I thought Tom Joyner, Tom Joyner is down there this weekend. Siobhan said you were wrong, so I could have gone down. But I have a sign. I told you that. I, no, you said last week. No, I did. I did. So, exactly. Sherry, do you want me to show these videos also? Yeah, there's no sound, so you, you, you're you okay. Okay. Um, you don't you just want to lean back so everybody can see your titties? No, I don't. I'm just tired. I'm tired of you. I'm tired. Yeah. So yeah. she tired of me, but she want to FaceTime me every night. I do. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. So uh, Linnell wasn't even. We went to see Linnell. She was amazing. You and this. I'm gonna tell you what Linnell Her said. Her name is not Linnell. It's Lou Nail. That's what I said, Linnell. L it's, you say it like it's L I. It's Lou Nail. It's not Linnell Chicago accent. That's my Chicago accent. Well, here's the thing. I've been saying Linnell for a few years now, and she's never corrected me. So because mm -hmm. she was Lisa Ray, though. Oh my gosh! So Linnell was really funny. We're gonna go to Lisa Ray. The one thing that I love that she said she did 45 minutes of all brand new material, and it was all wow. great. Music. And she said, she said, if you, it's eight thousand things that have happened during the pandemic. If you don't have a new set, you're not a comic. You're a hack. And I was like, well, Dang. I get about hacking material. She did all new material for 45 minutes and it wasn't sex. It was like, what? yeah, it wasn't sex. And I can't even tell her punchlines, but there was somewhere I was like, damn, that's deep. It was very cool. So um, but let me, let me say this for the listening and the viewing audience. Yeah, that's cool. But we did 90 minutes of new material we did during our set so i'm not going to receive none of that we're comics because we are well we're you're comics. A comic. no you're a comic i'm a too. comic but yeah we're both stand well let's up uh let's work through Dead. these commentate on some of these uh photos okay. if, you, and if then, you'd like yeah so the ones with stick it in chris okay <laughs> no not that one no you got to find one of me now because then we're going to go we're going to go to that one linnell linnell so that was when I surprised Aww. Linnell and she screamed and she cried and she was so excited. She brought me on stage. Look so skinny you look. she was really happy. That's the red hair. And you had your prostitute outfit on too. And I had a corset on, blinged out corset boots. and thigh high boots, which I gave to Linnell. You gave her those boots? I did for her daughter. Her daughter's a dancer. But does her daughter wear the same size? Yes, she? she was size nine, a size nine. Because I said, after, after you wear an outfit like that, and you post it on social media, you can't really wear it again. Uh -oh. So I retired it. So I wore it I that time. I don't know why you ain't offer it to me. Because you are going to complain the moment you put them on. Because oh. they're five and a half inches. They're really high. They are prostitute boots. Well, no, they're just, they're, you wear them on stage. I can wear, don't let Chris think I can't wear no five inch heel. Chris, I got you. I can wear seven inch heels. I know. I'm a trapeze I know artist. I know. Oh my gosh. I, know. I can do Circus Soleil. How about that? Can we get out of the delusional? Okay, what's the next thing? picture you got, Chris? So, the, so the, when I got back home, I was really tired because I missed my flight. But Kim called and said, Ronald Isley of the Isley Brothers wow. is having a birthday party. Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Uh, that's what he, he had that moniker because he had some songs. And so Ronald Isley is in the blinged out sitting down. Kim and I and Lisa Ray are up there at the top. 
they both Kim has and white then, on and Birdie and White from Earth Wind and, and Fire. And Birdie and White from Earth Wind and, and Fire wife. was there. Philip Bailey from Earth Wind and Fire yep. was there. And I went. So Kim and Lisa Ray are both in the white. I'm in the colored sundress. But I wasn't gonna go. And I said, Kim's friend, the dating the dating expert Diane Valentine, said I have to open myself up and put myself in situations yep. to meet people. So I said, I'm gonna go to Ronald Isley's 80th birthday party. And we went and we had an amazing time. Kim said we were only gonna be there for like an hour because she had to get up at four in the morning. We actually were one of the last people to leave. And D nice. That's such a great started. picture. It was, we got to take a picture with Ronald Isley. D nice was there DJing. Yes. And can I say something about D nice? He's so nice. <laughs> like, what a I'm terrible like, name if he wasn't though, right? I know, but scary. like Chris, that's what you walk away going. He's so nice. He was nice. Did you get his phone number? I meant to. Lisa Ray did. Oh, she she's did. good about that. She was like, let me have your phone number. She's yeah, she really good, about, good that. about that because she can keep in touch with everybody. Yeah, and so he was there, and what then Omarion was there. He's beautiful. And if you look on Sherry's uh, Instagram, Instagram, you'll see her thirst trap picture. Oh, send him that one, Kim. I can't find it. Thirsty oh my ass. gosh, that picture was amazing. Oh, here it is. I got it, Chris. Kim took right this picture you. of me in my sundress. Woo, baby! Thirsty. Ass. She took it, and I was happy to pose for it. She it did turn out well. I was feeling I, myself. I, I zo but zoom in on it, Chris. You sent you it to Chris. It. Yeah. I look high as hell. <laughs> face wasn't that cute. She don't drink. We'll check it out. I don't drink, but I look high as hell. But I that body was kicking. Yeah, all everything. Kim had me pose for this picture, and I was so happy. This she is in L.A., happy. right? Huh? This is in L.A. at a spot. In this LA. was in yes. L.A. They 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 and everybody had been COVID tested or vaccinated. And it was no more than 100 people, like it was 120 people. And so it was so much fun because I haven't gone to a club dancing. I fully was open. Uh, the men, most of them were married or gay. Kim says that I, I put negativity out there. As soon as we got there, <laughs> soon as we got there I was like, they, about, these oh, they old, <laughs> they gay. I was like, open yourself up, might be the one man. And I'm like, for a and gay then, man? And then the gay man danced with her like he was straight. <laughs> My half was open. Yeah. He danced with me like he was a regular heterosexual. Yeah, he was all in her <laughs> chest, everything. He sure was. It she, was so I was cute. like, don't be negative. You put negative energy. Just open yourself up for love. That's what you said. But I was like, I wasn't being negative. I was just reading the room. Like when you walked in the room, because Ronald Isley is 80. Uh, Philip Bailey from Earth, Wind & Fire is 72. So it was, there was a lot of older, older men there. There was a lot of married men there. And there were a lot of gay men there. So I just was reading the room and saying what I observed. I don't, do you think that's being negative, Chris? Uh, <laughs> it's, it, I wasn't there to see it. I don't think that is like Chris, typically if negative. Club, if you walked in a club and you're trying to, you want a girlfriend, you want to be in a relationship and you walked in a club and everybody there only had one leg, you go, <laughs> everybody, you got one leg. If you don't Why see. Why you being negative? Right. Damn if you don't see it. something you like, I get that. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, look at, but look at this positivity though. That oh, wait, pull it up. Can you see the rest of it? You got to. So we're showing. I meant to crop it, but I didn't have time. This is a picture of uh, Sherry Shepard with a leg out in a little wrap dress with a red prostitute wig on, <laughs> thirst trapping. <laughs> And that's how she was around the club. And so I had on high heels. The wet gay shoes. men wanted her. The old men wanted her. <laughs> the women wanted her. And I was the purse holder. <laughs> <laughs> no, you chose to be the purse holder. You always have a girlfriend that's a designated purse holder. You don't want to be that girlfriend. You do not want. To, and I was that girlfriend for years. So we left the purse on the table and we asked somebody to watch it. Next thing I know, we were sitting somewhere else. Le Kim comes with all the purses, looking mad. I was like, I'm tired of watching these purses. <laughs> I would like to dance too, but my feet was on Kim, fire. Kim put, I ladies, say, yeah. Kim put on a pair of high-heeled, thigh-high boots. As soon as she put them on, her feet were on fire. But she continued to wear them anyway. We didn't even left the house. We were in the kitchen. She's like, oh, my feet on fire. And walked out of the house with the same boots on. And danced on them. Oh, look and at then, the AARP basketball. Uh, I know, look at Andre. Andre. He looked like he hurt. That's good. Like everything hurt. Applaud them. That's great. Yeah, Kim, was... a dance. Uh, we had a good time. 
she was mad because she didn't want to shut down the party, but we did. And my other girlfriend drank, drank. Oh she was white God. girl uh, drunk. She said she was white girl wasted. Wasted, that's what she said. Her girlfriend drank so much. You ever heard he, he, Chris have a friend who drinks so much they become a different person? Oh well, yeah. yeah, I mean, come on, <laughs> that's part of. Chris the, is like that, that happens to me on the weekend. That's part of the culture, <laughs> yeah. I, not any time recently, but yeah, that's. She yeah. turned into somebody different, and I already, I've seen this person before. She was. I took a video of her because it was so funny. She was turning into somebody so different. I wish she was a comic because then I could post it because she could take it in stride. But she's not. She's she's yeah, not she an works. executive. She yeah. works that wouldn't you know. But I took it so she could laugh. But I think she was embarrassed because it was so, she was so drunk. And you saw the video I sent her to you? She, oh my gosh. So Kim took a video of her friend trying to undress and she was she was trying to undress and got to her bra and fell on the, the couch. Her then friend? fell right on the floor. Oh, rolled okay. off the floor. Rolled on the floor. Just, that mess was so funny. I kept watching it. I was like, well, I couldn't stop I watching it. I the phone because I was videotaping her. She her. was so drunk. she rolled onto that floor, I was done. And when you're drunk, all you talk about is sex. Hey, Andre, how'd you do with the geriatric basketball? I ain't bragging, but I beat Rodney twice. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got to let you know. Got to let you know. If you're if you're listening out there, Andre, <laughs> at the Andre him, Lavelle. It only took That's them it. six hours. That's it. They, went out there playing. <laughs> they got one game into 11. <laughs> yes. They was like, we're going to play three until 3 p.m. Oh, here Stop hating. Stop hating. <laughs> how, did, how did Kyle do? My brother. Pulled up the end. Okay, good. But he did get four. He did? Yeah. Kyle, what did Rodney do? Kyle ain't moved in 20 years. What made y'all decide you were going to play good. basketball? I'm planting down on the post and just seeing that. You know that surprise? He said, we can't fight. We got to do something. They can't fight. <laughs> they do something. Jeez Louise. Wow. What an answer. Well, we can't fight. So we Kim, decided to play basketball. Sherry, I, I, I'm curious real quick, just so we don't forget about this. Kim, you participated in something that Sherry told us about. Uh, at the comedy store a couple weeks ago. I thought this was a huge deal. Do you care if we show a picture of all of uh, all of you outside oh, of the comedy please. store? Oh, please. Please This do. is so great. This is so great. Kim, you explain it. I don't need to talk. You explain it. No, this explain picture. it because I'm tired. Okay. Well, it, it's a who's who of who, Chris Denman, who's he, who has uh, Chris Denman's interviewed. I want to know. Okay. Just I have one question. Who's the little white guy? In this His photo? name is uh, Gomez. You knew who he was? No, I saw his name somewhere. Okay, oh, sorry. Going... Sherry, tell us about this amazing, huge, yes, big-time picture. This is a serious uh, photo. There's a comic named Guy Tory who is from St. Louis. He's or is the he one from Baltimore? In, in the hat, and his brother's in the middle. Guy Tory and yeah, Joe Tory, who are from St. Louis. Louis. Guy Tory moved out to L.A. when he was broke, struggling comic, and he started a room at the Comedy Store, the world-famous Comedy Store. It is one of the most famous comedy clubs in the world, hence world-famous comedy a comedy store on Sunset Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And he started a room called Fat Tuesdays. And I'm talking about the greats, Richard Pryor, everyone. Everyone played at this comedy, comedy club. 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 Rodney Dangerfield, Richard Pryor, yes. Paul Mooney, uh, Louis C.K., Jerry Seinfeld, Roseanne Barr, any Roman, comedy. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Jay Leno, Ari, uh, uh, Charlie Fleischer, everybody, everybody has played at the comedy store. And on the wall, they have painted, if you were a regular at, that, at the comedy club, they would paint your name. It was a big event for them to paint your name on the wall. So uh, uh, Arsenio Hall, Eddie Murphy, yeah. Chris Tucker. I'm just, all these names are, are coming up to me. So uh, anyway, Guy Tory, who's from St. Louis, started this room called Fat Tuesday because there weren't a lot of places people could go on the west side of town of LA to see black comics. And he started this room in the main room of the comedy store. It seats about 300 people. And it became one of the biggest nights in Hollywood for people to go to to see really funny black comedians. It was on Tuesday nights. Mm -hmm. It was packed. It was hard to get in. You you would see a who's who of celebrities sitting in the audience to see these black comics. A lot of careers were broken on that stage on Fat Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Cat Williams was there. Oh, yeah. um, JB Smoove was there. Kim Whitley was there. Lunell was there. It was all of these comics. And Guy Tory had it going for years. This is where people came if they wanted to get black comment to put them on TV, they would come to Fat Tuesday. So anyway, fast forward, he is doing a documentary about Fat Tuesdays. Yeah. And with that, because it was a big night for the comedy store, it made a lot of money, those black comics for the comedy store. 
they picked out 40 African-American comics to paint on that wall, to paint their names onto the wall of the world famous comedy store. Yeah. And Kim Whitley was one of the comics that they What picked. an honor. That is it such a big, big deal. Honor. And it's in the front of the comedy store. It's in the front of the comedy store. And so if you go, it's one wall of the all black, of these. All black. It, it's, it's Guy Tory. It's Finesse Mitchell from Saturday Night Live. It is a, J.B. Smooth. A Tory. It's J.B. Smooth yeah. from Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's Lunell. It's Melanie you know, Camacho. Jay Phillips in the picture. Jay Phillips. It's Flame Monroe. With the it's red Cedric, hair. Cedric the Entertainer. Entertainer with the maroon hat. And there is Reggie Hudlin right there. Reggie Hudlin producer. from House Party. And the, his behind him, those are the three producers. It's going to be on Amazon Prime. So it's going to be on Amazon Prime. I can't and, wait. Uh, Looks so, looks it's so going to be a really great documentary. Um, uh, I called God and I was like, you still want me to do it? He's like, no, we're cool. So I'm not in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I waited so long because every time guy asked me to be in it, I said no, because I was busy. And they they were like, come on, you got please do a Sherry. And I'm like, I'm busy. And then once I saw, thank you, once I saw Kim um, on the thing, <laughs> Once I was on him, I was like, "Guy, I, I can do it now." He's like, "It's good. We, we're good. We got all the comics we need." I was like, "I want to be in the documentary." Dang. So I'm not. So you, you don't see me, you know, because I it messed around too much and I lost yeah. my window. But it was a big event for them to have their names painted on the wall to be recognized uh, for all of the hard work that they did. So it is right there on the front of the wall. I'm very Chris, proud of thank Whitley. Thank you so much. Now, do if you, you happen to look, the wall, Chris, uh, do, where Kim did you think? Uh, I said Chris. I think I said where your name was. Like you're pointing to your name. Look at that video. Let's so see. Nice. Oh yeah. Thirsty. Send give this us, to me. I'm on TikTok. Give this us one? just a second. We'll pull this up. Oh man, so that's a great send picture. It to, send it to me. I'm gonna put it on TikTok. I just started a TikTok account. Did you? Yeah, Sherry E. Shepard on TikTok. That's How's that going? I don't know. I just, I, you know, I think I posted mine like an auntie. Yes. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I wouldn't I know, know what I was, I was doing. doing. You, I think you're going to be able to tell this woman is in her 50s <laughs> posting <laughs> TikToks. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. it's bad. I didn't know what I was doing. Kim, it's, I've got just, one of you outside pointing to your name. Is that is that good? Yes, that's the okay. one. All right, that is on. the one. Give me just they, a second. And that's a big deal when they paint your name. They ask you to come down and watch them. Oh, they paint, do? Yeah, when they paint your name on the wall, they ask you if you want to come down and watch it. And you can take pictures and video and everything. And your name is up there forever. They that's, don't really they yeah, don't black they, out some people no. just died or gone away? I think, or Louis, I think they took out Louis C.K.'s name because of the scandal. Oh, because of the scandal. Because of his name was up there. I don't oh, see it anymore. Come, come get your... Get, go, Take your medicine. Oh, Josh is not there. She Hi, just honey. did three signs. Yes. Okay. Did you take your medicine? Okay. You need. To... Yeah. Look at Go that. Go get it. That's get life. your vitamins. That's what happens. I'm sorry. Love you. See you tomorrow. Kim is. Uh, Josh was going over Rodney's. He's going over Bye. his dad's. Kim's niece. You're not going to take your medicine. It's so Anna. disrespectful. It's oh, look at me. Yeah, that's Kim. That's Kim Whitley's name at the world famous comedy store. It's painted on the wall forever and ever and ever. It will always be there Legend. until they turn down the comedy store unless or unless Kim gets into a Me Too scandal and forces someone to sleep with her. Then they're going to white it out. <laughs> as long as you don't force a young man to sleep with you for a part, your name will okay. be up there forever and ever. That. Okay. Oh, that's great. Kim Whitley finally yes. made it. That's cool. That was can good. I can I? Sh yeah, go ahead. Sherry. Do you have the picture of my name? I could find it. Give me a second. I didn't Did you send it to him? No, I didn't send it to him. In so the meantime, how, how about we talk about this, Sherry? Uh, do you, hang on. Let's see. Comedy store. Do you have it, Sherry? Yes, I do. And I'm going to send it to you. Okay. Now, how uh, about this, Sherry? While you send me that, um, yeah. in similar fashion, I said, Kim, you're from Cleveland. I talked to this really nice person from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame the other day, and uh, that's in Cleveland. You know, just BSing in between stuff. And Kim just oh, casually, so casually awesome. goes, I think my name's on a brick outside of there. Outside of the <laughs> Rock just, and Roll Hall of Fame? It just kept talking. 
<laughs> just what? kept talking. I'm like, people just kill like the, that is the, like literally people die happy. Like that's above any make a wish <laughs> wish that could ever have. Like this is the top. Like people give their souls. To, they'll they'll sell their soul to the devil no, for these I'm kind of things. Not. And Ken was just like, yeah, I think so. Louis Moore, who's a promoter in Cleveland, raised some money, and he got me and Gerald's name on a brick in front of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, that's so cool! Wasn't that cool? Thank you, Louis. It was it was very. Cool. That's very cool. Yeah. It was funny being a Ronald. I, I sent it to you, Chris. Being a Ronald Isley's party, I said Kim, because they had all their wives that they had been with for ten, 10 years. Yes. I said <laughs> Gerald Levert. Sure you would have had a platinum blonde no, wig on. No, because those were young girls. I think they, those were the new wives. Yeah, those oh were the, the, the new wives. Yeah. So Jared would actually been with it. He'd have been divorced you. You'd yeah. been with a new wife. Yeah, he, okay. he, he, But yeah. you'd have been there with the kids. I'd have been there with the kids. <laughs> you'd have been the ex with the kids, walking around with a short skirt yeah, on, yeah. with a blonde wig. <laughs> We've got the picture. Hang on. We'll get this up in just a second. What I'm trying to think, Sherry, um, who at the comedy store, since you all are talking about it, who was the first person that you had to follow that you were like, wait, were you there when Mitzi was there, by the way? Yeah, I had to audition okay. for Mitzi. So you had to audition for Mitzi. So if people don't yeah. know about this, it's just, this. it's Polly Shore's mother, if that helps you all. Oh, but he, she, up, he did. At the end, Polly. Yeah, you had to audition for Mitzi, and Mitzi would sit towards right by the stairs. And you had to, once you got off stage, you had to walk slowly by Mitzi, and if she said anything to you, that was good because you would come back or she would make you a regular. Sherry, uh, if, if, what, yeah. how, how did she sound? So you just come off stage and she pulls uh, you, you. You are you're really funny. You have a lot of potential. Where are you from? Chicago. <laughs> Nobody cares about Chicago. You're going to say you're from New York and you're going to change your name from Sherry to Keisha because Keisha is a good comedic name. People will laugh at Keisha because I changed Richard's name. His name was Gerald. And I changed it to Richard Pryor. So yeah, that's how she that's how that's, she would talk. That's, no, that's she didn't so always make up stuff. She didn't say that, but oh. she would talk to you and she would change people's name. Carlos oh. Mencia is what? not Carlos Mencia's name. It's something like friggin' James Eldridge. She changed it to Carlo Mencia because nice it sounded name. more it sounded more Latino. She would tell oh. people to wear glasses, wear this jacket, yeah, do this. You, do yeah. She's a legend. She was a legend in her own. She's a legend. So if she and I uh a show to uh, probably showcase for her for more than 12 more than 12 times Who so what happened with me um i was a regular at the comedy store that's why i went up all we the didn't time. see your name can we see your name chris yeah, just, of course just, yeah it's right well, my there. name you get I'm steve burn cynthia eleven felipe esparza it's oh so you got so you go bill burr steve burn cynthia eleven felipe esparza sherry shepherd where is it next to next to jeff ross there's jeff ross's name yeah. there's sherry mm -hmm. shepherd Oh, you're right so taking a better picture? I took oh. it. I took it off. Somebody had it on their picture, and I just got it. I have oh, a better picture. I just okay. didn't feel like looking for it. But my name is... So <laughs> Kim is right in that front. That like Sharina Smith. <laughs> oh, it does not. <laughs> that looked like Sherry Shepard. That has been up on that wall. If you're driving down Sunset, it's above the main room wall. It's up above the main room wall, oh. right on Sunset Boulevard. I think it has oh, been so up there. So I'm on I Sunset also. Yeah, no, you just have to look up. But um, okay. I, it has been up there probably since 1991, my name. No way. Yeah. You weren't even doing comedy Yes, in I was. I mean, I'm sorry. Thank I started, you. Oh, I was Jesus. about to say, no, that's not. No, I've been doing comedy since 98, I think, maybe. I know. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so since about 2001. About yes. 2001. Wow. Three years so, in? Yeah. Feel yeah. real, feel, you know, people are 10 years in and <laughs> they're open That's to feature. I mean, Kim, we're Here's the deal. We've been doing stand-up comedy a long time. Yeah, We're pros at what we do. We get nervous still before we go on all the time. If yeah, you're not too, nervous, you're something's not nervous, wrong. Something wrong. But, but it, sometimes people can make you feel so old. My experience was I just did a, a gig to get ready for our comedy special and it was all young people. It was probably 200 young people was outside and I get and the and the girl didn't know who I was who was on stage. She was really young and all she was talking about was sex and her butt and her yes. only fans and it was it was all dirty material. She had just she'd only been doing it maybe 6 months a year and um she didn't introduce me the right way. Usually you got to say comics credits so the audience gets excited. 
So if you say she was on The View or she did 30 Rock, they get excited. She just said, who's the next comic? Shirley <laughs> Shepard? <laughs> this kind of next comic is so funny. Welcome, Shirley Shepard. So she didn't even say my name right. And because they didn't have my credits, I just had to be funny. I couldn't even stand on the fact that they're going to be excited. So I get on stage, I freaking wipe the floor. I'll kill, 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 kill. And uh, she says to me when I get off, she's like, oh my God, you are so funny. <laughs> Thank you. And she was like, wow. So how long have you been doing comedy? Oh, I felt so, so old when she's so like, good. how long have you been doing comedy? She's like, are you coming back? Like you talking to me like you're on the same level. You talking to me like I just didn't wipe up the floor with your behind. Oh, you talking to me like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like, oh my God, I have some words of encouragement for you. That was really funny. And I felt so old. And then Kim, you had the same experience working on Davis show with the young people. Yeah, today I was on the set and and, and every time I turned around, they're like, you're a legend. I was like, a legend? That's kind of old sounding. Then another person, you're an icon. And every time- <laughs> In the same sentence, a legend and an icon? Every time, every time oh. I heard it, I got older and older. I just kept going like this. Shrink it. I was like this. You became old crone. Uh, and after a while, I just started going, I said, baby, could you go get me some water? <laughs> You became Marla Gibbs. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I said, okay. And you forget, though, that we've been in this business a long, a long time, time. And so many people know us until you get a young person who's just like, wow, you're a legend. You're an icon. I look up to you. And you're like, okay, bitch, damn. No, it's the worst thing. When you know, I was thinking in the bathroom, when people say, this is what they said, so the dresser was dressing me. The, the costume lady and they were nice and they were dressing me and she was like oh my god i'm just I, when i heard you were coming she was like oh the kids are losing their mind she said the one kid is so going crazy that you're going to be here she was like and i mean i mean i grew up to you i was like uh you are 45. <laughs> she said i grew up to you like, oh, oh oh my gosh that's I horrible like, oh my god when they're just saying you can never say i grew up i don't like that when they say i grew up with well, some of them but they're young but I grew up to you, you a legend. Um, I don't, and this is the thing, this one lady said to me one time, she was like, can I call you auntie? I was like, bitch, we the same age. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine going from in awe, in awe to seeing like somebody that you love to being like, I, this person might swing on me <laughs> like this. Yeah, I was like, no, you're not gonna call me. How dare you yeah. call me auntie. auntie. But but those are the things and, um. <laughs> It was just funny. Congratulations being on the wall of the world famous excited. comedy store. That's all I do, Sherry, is try to follow you and catch up. <laughs> That's all I do. How much weight, where are you at on your, your WW weight No, loss? we're not going to bring this up again because then I'll hit you in the head with my okay. phone. Kim oh, was upset so because funny. our comedy special, I was saying that we've lost a collective weight of 61 pounds mm. on WW, formerly known as Weight Watchers, and Healthy Wage. I'm with healthywage.com slash Sherry. And we've lost all this weight. Now that's 61 pounds. That one pound goes to ding 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 ding. And you and no one has seen the scale. I'm telling you. So get on the scale and let's see. You know, I'm about tired of this. Oh, Kim, I lost I lost 30 pounds first. First of all, let me get the first. You lost your 31st. And now you're like, I'm 31 pounds. And let me tell you something. If I take this hair off. And there's some of these jeans, I bet y'all be a pound extra too. You would. I'm so sick of her. You know what? It's time to go. You, I know, your big toe it's is It's an hurting. hour. All right, hold on. Um, I just wanted to, there's- Oh, I some just more want, stuff. Yeah, I just want, if you guys want to buy merchandise, right. go to buyjack.com slash two funny mamas. My name is Jessica from Sika. Say what you're doing so the readers will know you well, just all in the book. Reading. Okay. About it says, I want to say I absolutely love you guys' podcast. I clean houses as a job. And after a while, listening to music can be repetitive. I came across your podcast, Two Funny Mamas Love It. Throughout these long cleanings, I stay listening to your podcast. And man, I'm dying of laughter. You guys really help with the topics you talk about. You keep my mind distracted and keep me pushing. I love the little flirting, flirting jokes Kim and Chris talk about is beyond hilarious. Those are Joke. jokes. <laughs> jokes, question mark. Oh, gosh. I want to say congratulations to you, Sherry and Kim, on losing so much weight and working so hard to reach your goal. 
You two wonderful, powerful, and gorgeous ladies. Stay safe as you travel for your job. Love y'all. And that's Jessica. Uh, Jessica 19. Just Jessica Guffrey. Guffrey. Um, let me see. Let me see. I feel like I read these before. <laughs> you might have. Oh my gosh. I have a, my husband and I love your shirt. Uh, did I talk about this? Yeah, he was diagnosed with something. Um, you know what? I, we got to get this. Uh, we got to get this dating because we got a lot of questions about people who are in their seventies and how did they date? We got a question from a woman, and I did read it. I'm not going to say your name, but she's bisexual. And she's in, she and is? she's older and bisexual, and it's a little hard to bring that up to men. She wanted to know how does she say that to a man? Why does she have to tell men she's bisexual? I don't know. He's gonna buy some sex. What she say? He, what did you say? Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? I don't know. What's wrong with me? The she, lady, you know, someone told me, and I want you to know. She was like, you know what? I think it was one of them actresses today. She's like, I love your podcast, you and Sherry. She said, you know, be honest with you, I don't mind it not being structured. I remember first listening to it and I was like, wow, you know, it's kind of cool. They're not, she said, because so many podcasts are structured. Yeah, they are. We kind of, yes. we kind of are not structured. <clears throat> like, you know, because here's the thing, we have to <clears throat> now, we, what do you do? What do you make all that noise for? Yeah, Chris, <clears throat> because Chris oh, was the one. Oh, yeah, okay, I got it. Chris, it, I, took it, took, it took a long time because when I wanted to structure the podcast, it, I was like, if you don't stop making that damn noise, when I wanted to structure the podcast, I only wanted the podcast to be 30 minutes long. And Chris was like, and no, I no, no. That too. Yeah. And Chris was like, no, Sherry, your, your fans are going to want it to be longer. You can go as long as you want, make it unstructured. Just do what you do. And I said, no, Chris, we need to have structure. And he was like, no, I'm telling you. So Chris, thank you because most of the fans say they like it Thanks. unstructured. That is, but that is why media Mid Coast Media produces our uh, our podcast. If you didn't make these kind of suggestions, I would have fired you. So, <laughs> yeah. so, but thank you, Chris, Perfect. for making that suggestion because that was your suggestion. To well, just way to way to kick ass with it all the time. And whoever the actress was, they're smart too because. The one time you went short recently, people were livid. People were complaining. Oh my God, when we did that little short podcast, oh my God, people were like, we they were not happy. That was when you were really tired and we had to go and we just had to do. But Chris, this is also what I wanted to say. We have to have you on as a guest. And if you know someone else, I've been getting a lot of requests. People want to know how to start a podcast. Oh, that'd be because fun. Because we get so much yeah. fun with our podcast. And so we need to have on as a guest. And Chris, you would be a great guest because... Ours is very unconventional the way Kim and I started a podcast. So you don't really want to go our, our route because we started a podcast as two people who were known. So, it, so we weren't, we weren't it's a big difference. Yeah. It, it's a big difference from like Anna Ferris has her mm -hmm. podcast. It, and, she, and now it's huge. It's got over a million subscribers and everybody, you know, goes on her podcast, but it's Anna Ferris. Yeah. It's so it's different from Janika Ferris starting a podcast right, right, right. so you know she wanted us to give tips and i didn't feel like we were qualified to give podcast tips why not i think we're brilliant we're we're qualified <laughs> to give content but not how to start up oh, wow. how you start how you start a podcast kim you call chris and say i want to start a podcast <laughs> 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 yeah, go ahead. that's what happened that's we going on the real it. yeah that's right that's on the real. and it literally we were going to start a podcast and see, ours was a different way because we had we had the funds to start it. I.e., I had the startup money. We still <laughs> on the podcast, and, look, and then you and we gotta know who you gonna it's partner up with. Because you gotta know. So we no, got, I'm but just, we have to have you on as a guest. So the yeah. next, we're in our fifty fourth episode. Um, we're gonna restructure it oh, a shit. little bit because we want to bring on what? more guests. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Who? What? We're doing a podcast, Andre. <laughs> My man. <laughs> well, why are you telling us that? What did he say? What did he say? I, I, I won't stay there. I may as well take it off. Hey. Hey. He's going to get in the shower. But why are you telling us that you're Who getting in the speedy? shower? 
I didn't know speedy. you were on the mic. I thought the podcast was over. The comic, Speedy. Well, you got to come in and check and see if the podcast is over. Before you start calling the phone. Oh. Are you getting in the jacuzzi, Andre? No, I was getting in the shower. I just played Wait, basketball. Wait, leave him up there. Leave him up you, there. Okay, but you said you was getting in the jacuzzi. Lean over so you didn't see. No, I didn't I'm say I was getting in the jacuzzi. I'm getting in the shower. Oh, Chris, now Chris gonna call. Hold oh, on. Oh, jeez, y'all getting on my nerves, both of you. Chris is calling. It didn't work, Chris. No, I didn't. I didn't want to mess. I was, I just, All right, I well, we're to... about to end it in five minutes. Do you want Kim to get in with you? Is that why you called? Yeah. Me? So can I turn off the jacuzzi? Y'all gonna get in? If y'all get in, I get in. <laughs> what? Bubbles huh? in jacuzzi. Jacuzzi bubbles. Why are you turning to Eddie Murphy? Why are you sound like Chris? <laughs> You put bubbles in the jacuzzi. I tell you, Sherry, if you don't stop trying to make me sound like the Ah, uh, he's so great. I, I needed some coffee. All right, Andre. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna turn See it you, on. buddy. Hey, let it, Chris. Hey, you watching the fight this weekend? Or was oh, last weekend? you know it. I'm, 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 I'm sure there are fights. Yeah, I'm sure there are. Yeah, I watched this, last week. This is a true friend, Chris. You see her holding my arm up? And she knows I ain't looking out. I can't hold the phone. The phone start doing like this. <laughs> okay, bye, Andre. See you, buddy. Uh, so I just was going to say, we're going to end this. Take your clothes If you want to get merchandise, go to buyjack.com slash 2FuddyMamas. We're going to update our merchandise page. Tell us what kind of merchandise you'd like to see. But we're going to restructure our thing, our podcast, so that we have more guests on. We're going to have a guest on who talks about uh, podcasts. We're having a guest on that talks about Bitcoin because everybody wants to know about Bitcoin. We're going to have our dating, uh, our relationship. We, we, just, we had just been booking there. so much stuff that we weren't getting to. It. And my sister, who we told we were going to get a wig, I don't have the email right here. I left it at home. You have not been forgotten about. Kim and I are going to get together uh, this week and talk about your wig. And we're going to call you and get your dress and everything to send this way to you. So we have not forgotten about you. Um, we're gonna have the super nanny on, Joe Frost. Just so we're, we had just been, we booked a few things and it's just kept us from doing that. So it will be restructured in that sense. Okay. And uh, I think it's probably- It's gonna be out to, uh, so yeah, all right. Oh, Paul Mooney. All right, we gotta go this We cannot go, we cannot forget, we have to give, uh, we have to give a little tribute to, to what happened. Is Andre naked? Oh, jeez. He is in the shower. In the shower. In the shower. Look at the tan line. Or is he that dirty? No, oh. it's just he's got the sun. It's a tan line. It's a tan oh, line. Oh. He was at, that's where he had his tank top on. Is that his chest? That's his chest. Oh, that is gray hair. Look. Don't stop that. Oh. He looks nice. Okay. It, with the shower shot. Oh my gosh. I forgot what we were gonna say. So I guess we can. Oh I, no. You just oh, Paul me. Mooney. Yeah. To Paul Mooney, the godfather of comedy. And for those of you, I've been getting a lot of questions from young comics who are not black. Who's Paul Mooney? Wow. Paul what? Mooney is, uh, yeah, the, the young people. Well, they, they didn't, they didn't know Sherry, around, remember? They didn't, <laughs> <laughs> no use. So. Right. Paul Mooney is uh, is your George Carlin. If you remember George Carlin, mm -hmm. who always got in trouble for saying stuff, Paul Mooney was the same exact way. He was irreverent. He was raw. He said, "Why you say two men the same age? What's wrong with you?" Because he was. No, he's not the same age as George Paul Carlin. Paul Mooney is your Cat Williams or something. No, he's not. No, he's like George Carlin because George Carlin. But you used another reference that ain't because they're white. Know. I'm saying white people were asking oh, me who okay. Paul Mooney was. So I said, well, you remember George Carlin? Yeah, we do. He used to get arrested. He used to, Paul Mooney is, is, is our George Carlin, is what I was saying. Again, he was irreverent. He was raw. Paul Mooney said what he thought. He didn't, he didn't, if he didn't trust you, he wasn't talking to you much until he got to know you. He had a wicked sense of humor, but he passed away. And um, every black comic in the world looks up to Paul Mooney yes. as I'm sure some white comics do, a lot of white comics do, but specifically in the black community, because he he allowed us to be able to get on stage and say things. He also wrote a ton of material for Richard Pryor. Yes. Oof, yeah. He was Richard Pryor's main writer. And uh, if you watch the Dave Chappelle show, 
What was his segment called? Ask a Black Guy. Ask Look a Black Guy. Go, Chris. Ask a Black Guy. And he was really funny. He was he would get on stage and talk for three, four hours. And people would leave. Usually it was white people. Black people never left. It was always white people who left. And he, Paul Mooney would talk about him. He was funny. Okay. Anyway, there's a tribute going on to him tomorrow when this podcast comes out at the Lab Factory. Eddie Murphy's going to be there. Tiffany Haddish. Um, Arsenio Hall, Chris Tucker, Jamie Foxx, Kevin Hart, Lunel, Lunel, I'm going, you're going, Uh, Lonnie Love is going to be there. All the comics are going to be there. Now, will you get on stage and speak? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No, you can. You're banned from funerals and memorials (laughs) of any comics. You say stuff and then TMZ picks it up and it's a hot mess. And then we get in trouble. Yep. So, nope. And you better not record and world star bull. I know, huh? I just, the fact of trying to get on stage in front of Eddie and Arsenio and Chris and make them laugh, I, I, I don't know how it would do. No, I, I don't have any too. Paul Mooney Mon- stories to make you laugh. I have, but I can't tell, like, I can't. No, I can't make it tell. funny. No. So I'm just going to sit with my mouth shut. A quick, the I'm only gonna, thing I could I offer to, <laughs> the only thing I could offer to this is from an outsider, obviously a legend, but comics i know that are young and that you know they were posting their their thoughts about him that got to open for him or work with him yeah. all of them were they said he was so nice he was so complimentary yeah. and you wouldn't think that because of the gruff persona he puts on so that was just really cool to see from my perspective oh that's pretty cool really really a nice guy and just a yes. great sense of humor and like paul. you said really encouraging i think so many people loved him i opened up for paul I never got to open up for Paul. I talked to, I went to see him at Caroline's. I used to watch him just perform. Just, I was just sit there all night and watch him. I would him. sit there too. And he would have that bandana on. That bandana. He and would, his face. Yes, he always had a strong. <laughs> he was very articulate in the way he talked. But he would always go up the last. He would be late at the comedy store or the Laugh Factory because he talked so long and so many people would walk out yeah. on Paul. But not walk out, but it just people were uncomfortable. He made you uncomfortable with the material. So uh, there were some people who were uncomfortable and he would talk about you if you got up. Yeah. But I cannot wait to white go to this tribute. Leave. Yeah, it was only yeah. white people that left. <laughs> Black folks weren't leaving. It was in white people that was sitting in the front like, oh my God, who is this? And what? Yeah. And they get up and leave. And I felt bad for them because they didn't know he was going to get mm. you as you walked out. But uh, I really am excited yes. to go to the tribute for Paul Mooney to see what the comics got to say. You yes. know, your Eddie Murphy's. I think she's going to have something sexy and nasty on Trust in Me. No, no, no. I'm wearing something very ladylike. Um, I'm wearing something very appropriate. I was going to wear what wearing I... something real dude Like a suit? Like an <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres suit? Stop overalls. it. Stop. Not overall. Or like what he used to wear. I don't know. I'm wearing something very, uh, very, You already very... picked it out? Yes, I was going to wear my thigh high boots that I wore today. That's what I posted. That's disrespectful. No, it's cute. But it's disrespectful for a memorial. No, it's not. I thought it was. I thought it was. Oh, you mean what you had on today? today. I thought you meant the new nail thing. No, no, not that. Oh my God, that's like, seeking attention. No, no, with the boots, with the little Versace uh, dress. Dress, yeah. But I'm gonna okay. wear something very. No, no, I'm wearing something very church. Churchy. I'm gonna wear something. That's not churchy. That mini skirt with thigh high boots is not churchy. No, I said I'm not gonna wear that. I'm going to wear something very churchy. Okay, I'm gonna put on something it's, black too. Then. No, don't wear black. Don't wear black. It's a tribute. It's not a funeral. It's a tribute. I don't want to wear heels. Do you have a suit? Be... Like wear a suit. Wear something so like. <gasps> oh my gosh. A suit. You know what the best thing to watch is? If you love Ryan Murphy, who made that movie Hollywood Land, the series Hollywood yes. Land, and he made nine one one uh nine one one and Scream Queens, Halston. It's a series on Netflix called Halston. And it's about Halston, the designer, and the rise and the Can fall of Halston's empire. Why couldn't you just say Halston? Why do you have to bring up in your throat? Halston. Halston. You just said it. No, but the three times you said it, Chris, did you hear? Halston. Thanks, Kyle. Halston. You said Halston. <laughs> Chris, did she not grovel? Halston. A few times there. But it's about it's the rise. We saw you playing Why don't you come, the, come say hi so they can see what, what Kim's brother looks like. Yeah, but that, Kim's brother don't look good right yeah, now. Why are you, you playing you play basketball? Was it hard? Kyle, you always say, come on in the camera and say hey. So they know. This is Kim's brother, Kyle. What's up? Where am I? Right here. Right. There you go. Kyle. You don't look crazy. 
And there's Andre out freshly shot. We saw y'all playing back. Come on, yeah. Andre. Yeah. Yeah. We saw y'all playing yes. basketball. It's called the Elderly Tournament. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and, Papa, and Papa Smurf won the game. Come on in. Come league. on in, Andre. Come Kyle, on. Kyle, we got, we got to know. Oh, okay, I almost broke my hip. Why are you going on this? Oh, that is the side. We y'all saw, it. okay, up. first of all, y'all, y'all were moving, moving so, so slow. slow. We thought y'all was talking about your, the game. No, no, we were just in slow motion. That's all. <laughs> it was instant replay time. And we had to Y'all were slow back. every play. I Wait. mean, Rodney threw a ball and I just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't quite make that turn, so I let the hand let it fall. Oh, by. my gosh. <laughs> so, oh, you gosh. Know, and, and then, can you good. imagine Grandpa here won? <laughs> I actually tore it up. How many, I mean, how many times did I win? We look like we never how, how many touched times did I win? basketball in our life. So how many times like, did you win? How many times did you win, Kai? You won. Twice. Twice. I was the intermission. I was. And the all the time, all, you was half time. I was the half time. All y'all was walking like your prostates was. <laughs> if it was a movie, what would it be called, Andre? If it was what, a movie. What would it be called? Two oh. old men and oh. a basketball. <laughs> Oh, old, man, man can, no, no. old man can jump. Old man can jump. Right. Man, <laughs> can't jump. Old man can't jump. <laughs> okay. Nine talking? balls on the court. <laughs> <laughs> Nine balls? No, no, we're just going to call we it. We got one ball. Uh, seven balls on the court. Seven balls mind. on the court. <laughs> uh, we can call it hip replacement. How about that? We're going to do a hip replay. Hip replacement. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> So, but y'all played good. Well, thank you very much. We, we are happy to be here on your show. Thank you. We Absolutely. love having y'all. It's... You know, because these are two funny, funny mamas. Mammies. Mammies. We ain't no hey, damn mammies. Me. I'm sorry. Mammies. I'm looking down there. The, the microphone. No, you, what do you mean? Mammaries? Is that what you was trying to yes. say? Two, yes. Two large mammaries, but this is my sister. I can't even say that. <laughs> now, Sarah has a different story. You know what I'm saying? And Sherry on full display. Sherry <laughs> come through here, super modeling, and I'm like, don't come through here with this cleavage going on. Oh, God. I mean, Kim, I like these two. <laughs> Kim has two balls on it. But I want to ask y'all a female question. Yeah, go ahead. Right since here. you're both here. So, and Andrew, we want to ask a female wants question. Ask her, she wants to ask us two female questions. I want to ask a female. What do we know about females? Because, guys, you've been with females. You're right. You've been with females. You're very successful. <laughs> He yeah. said, and don't forget it. 10,000 hours. <laughs> like you clock in. That makes, you, like you, pro- that makes, you, makes you a professional. You got to put 10,000 hours in before you get Did you get a chip? Did you get a bonus? <laughs> get a <chip. laughs> so uh, here's the thing. Would you, when does a woman take off her weave or her wig in front of, in front of you? Never. Matter of fact, <laughs> keep that. Can I cuss on the show? Yes. Keep that shit on, because you can do the game. You throw really? That, if you take that wig off, and I see, can I say Kizzy on here? But if I see yeah, Chewbacca, you, you said it. Chewbacca, if I see somebody that looks like a alien or an android, <laughs> no, no, you know, I guess really what I have to say is this. I think you got to ease into it. All funniness aside, I mean, let one of your pigtails hang out. <laughs> underneath, <laughs> underneath the, 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 the hair, you'll be like, is that uh, really well, see, your whatever gray the hair? illusion is that you start with? I mean, you created the monster, so you, you got to keep, keep that up. You got to keep it. It's but it's here's the like, deal: go ahead, go ahead. if we don't start with the illusion, then y'all not gonna be into. If I, if it's like a, a little ball of ponytail in your head, then you. Well, gonna... well, tell me one thing: when is the time when a guy lets you know he's really broke? Let Ooh, me just say, you better let me when, know right away. When should I take oh. my? credit card and my FICA score out on you. Because <laughs> I'm going to floss you. It's going to be my wig. Because my wig going to be long and flowing. At the end of the day, we all going to be surprised. Like, you ain't got no hair and I ain't got no money. We good. We are good. I So, so the answer is serious. Serious, so to answer your question, all I got to say is this. You take off your wig when you find out he's broke. So don't do it. <laughs> And that is good. good. That is good. That's, that's good. a real good one. That's a real deal. That's a good one. When you're faking, be fake. Let me ask you one. Let me ask you another question. Sure. I had a friend who says she, uh, her boyfriend, broke up with her because she used the bathroom in front of him. 
She said I'm <laughs> going to the bathroom in front of him. Number one or number two? Two. Mm. Okay. With the door open? With the door open. Oh, she, she didn't think it was no big. She was like, was she, she grew up that way? Huh? She grew up that way? She grew up that way. She Joshua's brothers. gonna grow up that way. So you, she know, you're, 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 you know, I, know, I will never, I don't even pass gas in front of her. I have two no. bathrooms. So my thing is, yeah, is that I, I, not, I use it in front of Joshua. What's so Joshua was, uh, Joshua's 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 like, I use it in front of, of, of Dexter too. I'll be like, Dexter, you okay down there? That's the dog. That's all right. You probably should stop using You probably should stop using the bathroom. Wait, hold up. Let me explain something. Joshua runs into my bathroom. He don't knock. If I'm on the toilet, he right there. I ain't got time to be like, ooh, ooh. Now let me explain. So I don't want him to grow up and think that this is okay. I told him, I said, Joshua, people have privacy. But this is the problem. He got an older mama. <laughs> I got to hit that toilet. I ain't got time to close the door. You know what I say to Jeffrey is I say, when he comes in my room, I go, I'm on the, I'm on the bathroom, Jeffrey. And he leaves with a quickness. I say, are that, you I more say embarrassed of the funk? Or are you more embarrassed that you're sitting on oh, the I would I never. smell like poopery. That's what I'm saying. I don't use the bathroom in no, front of a man. No, if, I don't. If Joshua's going to run in there it. into the funk, that's what he's going to get. That's I'm talking about a grown man. Yes, your son, he got accepted. I'm talking about a grown man, your man. Okay. You I will never pass gas in front of Keep you. Keep it separate. Keep listen, it separate. Listen, if we have listen, said, I want my own bathroom. Listen, Linda. Listen. If a grown man. I got to sit down. My grown, back hurt. Oh, my God. The winner of this the championship. Is the That's why. Oh, jeez. Two games. Why don't you get in the jacuzzi like I said? I was going to, but. It was just it's too much going on in the jacuzzi. Jack you turn it out because they, they had the dog in the jacuzzi. Joshua probably in peed in the jacuzzi. They didn't put that dog he don't in the jacuzzi. He don't clean his butt good. It's probably some doodle in the jacuzzi. I ain't getting it. They didn't put the dog in the jacuzzi. Kim's jacuzzi is well maintained. <laughs> That's so right. Kyle, make sure, make sure that it's scrubbed. And it has <laughs> I'm trying to think of another. I'm trying to think of another question. Oh, when when does if a woman say I love you to a man? That's very vulnerable. So yeah. therefore, you have to make sure. Let me just tell you, I'm, I'm going to be the guy that talks because I'm the guy that has all the wisdom. It's when the man just can't say it. When the man has wisdom. demonstrated, you hear the word demonstration is the key. When the man has demonstrated that he has your back and you can trust him. Other than that, you're a little bit exposed. Oh, what do you mean? Let somebody say they love me. I'm gonna be like, I love you too. Oh, do you think you should say it first before the? I mean, it really is not. It's a, a demonstration is unstated. Why it, it can't be stated, but you know what somebody love loves, is right? an action. It's word. an action word. It's okay. a demonstration. It's basically you. If you have to say now, you, you hear love, all this game. That's why Kim is a player. <laughs> <laughs> she got it straight from Kyle. <laughs> now, hey, hey! I told you I was a G. I have, to, I have my ten thousand hours. <laughs> See, I got a token. I have a degree, and but you know, really, what it is, it, it really just comes down to it's the it's the. Um, Love is like you like it's an action word. It's basically you don't have to say. Yeah, I, I, I have a seat, Kyle. Had, you, I gotta pee. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is another question. You're at a club. Yeah. Yeah, at a club. Yes. Yeah, a woman sees you. She likes you. Uh -huh. How do you feel about? I how do you? Sweat. I see. You just got out the shower. Good grief. And I haven't gotten out the shower. Oh, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> I'm I, sweating, we, but I'm fresh. We, we sort of have yeah. funky, right? <laughs> <laughs> Slightly fresh and slightly sour. So I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to compliment Kyle on uh, on taking it easy on purpose out on the court so he could be fresh for the ladies later. Right? It was that my, was the move. It was, my, it was my belly that was keeping me. <laughs> oh, damn! I feel you. I tell you, I wish I could have got this on video. Kyle, Rodney, and Andre playing a gray beards and one bald man. And one hey, bald man. But they were playing. They were out there playing, they though. I'm telling you, playing. basketball, the most unforgiving. But somebody threw, well, here's the thing. Somebody threw the ball at the net, and they just looked at it go in. Like, that, nobody ran. Yeah. I, I said, if it's out of my arm reach, I can't go in. <laughs> All right. Who, who was camped at the top of the three-point at the top of the three point line? That's what we were doing. We were shooting. Okay. <laughs> free throws okay and it was the best you know of 10 first one gets the 10 wins and it just ended up i got about two every time so oh guys so here's my next question um and you can look up at that camera right there because that's okay. our audience right. if you are at the club uh 
and a woman sees you. I see you from across the room, Andre or Kyle, and mm -hmm. I like you. How do you feel about a woman asking for your number or asking you out or sending you a drink? How do you awkward. feel like the woman making the first move? Please do. I'm getting some booty. I mean, I mean, I mean, wow. we, we always what like that. Be like, straight up, did the fish just jump into my hand? Like, wow. <laughs> you no, I, I, I think, like, I think he's on it. What now? What? How about this? That's just go ahead. It takes Have the you, pressure. That's Andre. That's great. No, it does. How about this? I've done this and this, uh, this only happened one time and I just got too big a kick out of it that it worked so well. Super attractive girl. I'm, I'm a little bit taller. She was like uh, in heels, like a little shorter than me. So I was like, Oh, okay. We got something going on here. And I just looked at her and we kind of met eyes and I, she held it a half a second too long. So I was like, ah, here's my move. And I, and I don't know where I pulled this. I was like, Hey, I'll take, um, Mm, I'll do a vodka soda and a lime, like something. I gave her my drink order and I was like, and I just kind of looked at her and she looked at me and like smirked and she goes, okay, all right. Bought me the drink and then talked to me, gave me her number because she was so like, oh, okay. Like it was, it was faux ridiculous. Like in that, in that moment, it worked very well. Does that make sense? So if a woman did that to a guy, I feel like the dude's going to be pumped. Well, you know what? Pumped. I mean, pumped. I'm like, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm like, did you? That's what I'm I mean, saying. You know what? Yeah. First of all, it's flattering because of the fact that I, you know I grew up that, you know, I'm gonna be a man in any situation. Any situation, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm buying the drink. I mean, point right. blank, because right. yep. that's yep. what I'm there for. Women come to the club broke. They're not expected to buy any drink, even though I know. I know there's someone we got there. But if I see you own. from across the way and I, I'm liking you and I'm and feeling liking you, me. how do you feel about me buying a drink? Does that set it up for like I'm always buying something? No, no, no. it's just basically it's unnatural. It's unnatural. Well, why would you? Why would you? Think it's it unnatural sets up to always have to buy. It's something. unnatural because the fact that most women so want to be aggressed. Now, if I if you get my attention and I, you know, you notice you. Then that's natural. You make sure that you know me. Then I'm getting some booty. Point blank. If so I don't you like, I mean, at, I like you. It. Look at it as like if I send you a drink, yeah. then I'm a little easy. Well, it's like maybe I don't like it because I'm seeing everything in the room. I see everything in the room. When I come to the room, I'm surveying, and I'm For like, you, Andre. It takes the pressure off. You don't mind it. It's intriguing to you. Yeah. Chris likes it, but for you, you take on a different attitude. Yeah, like my this head. woman sending me a drink. No, well, you know, I've had it happen, and I'm gonna say for the record, I've had it happen, mm -hmm. and I thought it was, it was, it was nice, and I've had nice conversations. And when I say I'm gonna get okay. some booty, I'm just trying to make you a just joke. Heard, I got you. But the reality of the matter is, is that you gonna get some booty. No, it's a little, it's a little, a little unnatural. I mean, okay, my thing you is, prefer. To, I, I, to I'm secret. the hunter. I'm the you hunter. like to hunt, right? What about when y'all have conversation? Oh, this is a good one. When you have got, you know, you call a woman up. We're so excited to hear from you. So you know, a woman could talk hours on the phone. Yeah, me too. But do you feel like a woman should end the conversation at a certain time so as to leave you wanting more? in the conversation as opposed to we talk for four hours we talk for seven hours because one time i talked to a dude for seven hours mm -hmm, straight mm -hmm. and then the next day Did we talked for four hits? hours mm -hmm. but that was a good comment no good. he no he wanted to stay on the phone you that's sure good that's there, good chemistry he was, he was no chemistry. we we was singing to each other like it was great that's great and then he called me up the next morning and but, he likes women for real yeah okay. <laughs> hold it hold it time uh, out time out i'm a talker Okay. As you can notice, I I don't let Andre talk very much. <laughs> I know it's like me and Kim. I talk a lot, so I can talk for that seven hour or six hour if the chemistry's right. Right. And the thing about it, if the chemistry's right, go with it. Let's not play games. I mean, right. the game is like See, now says, you gotta stop at a certain time. Don't play on games with me. Kim says you must get off the phone at a certain time to leave something on the table so that they want to talk. She's you don't. Single. It depends on, I'm looking at the, at the microphone, but she's single. <laughs> she's single. And it depends on what you're talking about. Because if you give I enough mean, to, I mean, I've met women who like ready to introduce me to their mom and their kids. And it's like, I don't even know if I like you yet. Relax, slow down, you know? So it depends on much. what you're talking yeah, about. That's way too much. How do y'all feel about <laughs> children? Like when do you, when do, honestly do men want to meet the women's kids? After we get down, I mean, after we get to know each other. After that you better be. Anybody's that better be kid. fairly. That better be fairly sacred. Like you don't want to be like the yeah, seventh, no, the don't. seventh dude who's met the, oh, so you, met the kids. Because no. <laughs> I've had, I've had, sure, I've had women like try to get me involved with their kids as soon as we meet. And that's because they want to be like, I can't leave, so let's come in and, and 
see my kids. I don't want to see your kids. See your kids. I so wanna... we talking on FaceTime. Don't go. Come here, Joshua. Come say hi no. to oh, Mr. Lord, Kyle. Lord, At a certain point, if it's appropriate, Mr. you're not the. If she's yeah. If it's that no, quick I'm, with you, it's been that quick with t- twenty other dudes. Yeah, she's trying to get. I mean, she, I, I'm not gonna say that. You know, they don't have babysitter money, and it's like they gotta. You know, if they don't have babysitter money, then that just keys me. I mean, you know, get somebody to babysit your kids, and let's go out and be grown folks, and we well, we like each let other. Me, yeah, invest, let me be Eventually. invested in you right. before you push other people. I don't on want somebody to see Mr. Like, Kyle and because because kids might get Mr. attached Kyle. to you they quick, do. and yeah. you, you know, oh well, yeah, those kids. kids are, it's like, I was just here to bang your mama. Right. Like, All right, speaking of banging your mama, speaking of banging your mama. Oh, no. How she do y'all feel, feel about, about somebody's mama? Coming, well, I'm a mama. So when he's like, I'm just here to bang your mama. So speaking mm. of banging, when a woman is dating you, y'all dating, Steve Harvey says in uh, his book, women should wait well, no, 90 days. Day. Well, I know he, he wrote to us, to women. No, men do not like Steve Harvey's book <laughs> at all. But he said that women should wait 90 days. So I just had a conversation about this yesterday. Okay. And Sounds I was like telling you, what's it my, what's it? <laughs> no, I mean, the 90 day rules in concept sounds good. And, okay. that, and, and that, that's a good reference point. I don't take that away. But what I would say is don't throw the booty out first because you're letting your emotions lead you. I mean, manage your emotions. You can't not give up the booty because of the fact that it's going to happen anyway if y'all are connected. And two, we're hunters. We're basically, we can wait you out 90 days. What's 90 days? I can wait 90 days. Sure. But what I can't do is I can't be with somebody that's just, no, no, no. You got to give me a little crumb, as I call it, so I can continue to be interested. Whip out a titty a little bit every once in a while. <laughs> but you still didn't give anything. You might, you might let me touch that leg. I might even get the fragrance and nectar. But the bottom line is, oh, you got to keep me engaged. But you, so if, something. So don't. So you, if you shut me down, we're gonna say that's a game player, and I'm not playing. But if you allow me to have a little taste and a little intimacy, and it builds up, that 90 day period can allow you time for me to get to know your ass. And because in fact, if I don't know your ass, and you give me up the booty? It depends on the objective. If, you, oh. if you're really interested in You see what I'm saying? And yes. you want to get to know them, and you want it to build. You have then, to. Yeah. You have, but, go ahead. Basically, women act like they don't want the, the D, just like, you know. And, and if we can stop playing these games and be honest, if that's the attraction for us. Yeah, but then, see, if we were really honest with y'all and said, because a lot of times we want to sleep with you, but we don't want you to think we're easy. We don't want you to think we're giving it up well, too fast. But that's why we're mature enough to have that conversation. If- yeah, but just like Kyle just said, if you give it up to me too soon, deuces. And was, it depends I, on the objective. It's not, you if know what? I'm it, interested and in then it's not, it's, if I'm, I'm really not interested and that's all I want, that's all, I'm going to wait 90 days, get it, and still buy it. I'm still getting it. Doesn't make it. A it doesn't make a difference. So, so the thing about it, I think Either the, they like the you or point they is you have to allow somebody to be vested in you. Mm. So that he has at least some kind of of of, of commitment to you in a way that he doesn't yeah. want to hurt your feelings. Mm-hmm. But if I just meet you, you give up the booty. I don't care if I hurt your feelings really or not, because in right. fact, it's one of those things. So if you take it as a guideline, if you want to say the Harvey book of three months or the cookie, don't give up the cookie. Yes, don't give up the cookie, but you must give some intimacy in order to keep me engaged <laughs> because intimacy, I can be... You know, I don't have to smash you to be close to you. Right. Walk around me slightly naked. Not <laughs> all the way naked. I mean, maybe in a bra. Maybe I'm like, I'm getting there closely. Now, but you don't think that that's teasing you? That that's like. I mean, but the question is, is don't you think giving me the booty is just putting you in a vulnerable okay. position? I mean, it it's depends not a tease. On, it depends on what the objective is, if you're looking for a relationship. or Because sometimes... I mean, bottom line, the measuring bar is how good the booty is. Cause I could be really into you, and if it sucked and I don't wait 90 days, I'm still gonna bounce. I'm like, yeah, I like you, but man, this was garbage. I, I wait 90 days. Will be, I want to be in a relationship with and you. And the bottom line is, you know, intimacy be- begins with a kiss. And the bottom line is, if I can it's kiss you way. and I can make love to your mind, I know I'm gonna you get the booty. So side. why am I worried about getting the booty? <laughs> now there's some brothers want to get the booty right away. I mean, so that's, kissing that's is the is big for you. You love kissing. That's gonna be that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a 
That is absolutely. You you like to kiss? That's it. Done. If you can, how how do you get on? Uh, how do you get ready without kissing? Because some people not they, they, they about end up. Yeah, they don't they don't kiss. They don't like to. No, no. I'm saying I've been in relationships where they don't kiss because they breath stink or they didn't brush their Ooh. teeth or they Ooh. smoke or Ooh. whatever game it right. is. It's like I can't get myself that down with just turning you around and tapping at it. Right, right. You. Uh. <laughs> It's a, uh, it's a bit that's very intimate. How, what what's what do you like? What's your favorite thing? Uh, it depends on the individual. Everything. I mean, I don't have a set rule. And she she got to be this tall and she got to be this small. I can be attracted to anything. A chick with a long neck. I'm like, ooh, look at that neck. You know, it could be anything. <laughs> so I'm saying, but like something that gets you going that you like to do. Kyle, it seems like kissing. I like to you. lay back and just watch. So what? Oh yeah. So you're okay, a boy. So if she dances for you, or no, she... she's kissing me properly. Oh, oh he likes oh, me. Oh, you <laughs> like that? <laughs> you, oh, you like you like the going down there? Okay. I just want to watch. Yeah, that's blazing. that's a little fast. Oh, that's a little fast. That's man. a little fast. I, I can get them ninety days with some good kissing and a little intimacy and a little cuddling and right. and all that stuff. And I'm setting y'all up. I'm saying, yeah. Oh, you mean right. from the beginning? What? Oh, how many people look at this? In general, shut the hell up. We have forty-two. We have forty-six thousand subscribers. Oh, so <laughs> wait a minute. I'm, that must mean there's only my mama watching this. I didn't mean none of that. I don't remember this. Must mean, mean that yeah. seventeen <laughs> people are online. And we will people. probably have uh, probably twenty thousand people, maybe twenty five thousand of people watch this. Hey, Blair. Don't take my card away. I ain't mean to give up the <laughs> secrets. Of the day. You like giving up any hey, secrets? Hey, I think I, I don't want to. Hey, I'm giving up too much. Hey, they may take my card. We might have away. a segment called "Ask the Two Brothers." <laughs> we I like ask that. the way you ask the two brothers, That's and perfect. then Chris joins in. Yeah, Chris. We gotta figure out what to say. Chris, I mean, you, you seem like you need a little help over there with that. What'd you say, a vodka and tonic you had? <laughs> <laughs> vodka. I thought you were gonna say a slow gin fizz. I was gonna be like, nah. Not Oh, oh damn! Good grief! Yeah. Get off the How do you feel about giving up your passwords? A woman having the passwords if once y'all are together. Password to what? Your Negative. social media. Negative. 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 No password. Negative. I want everybody at my house right now. Negative. <laughs> I'm about, put people out. I'm about to grab your own. All right. Well, thank you so out. much, Kyle Whitley. We appreciate you. Going? Thank, Thank you. you, Andre Lavelle. Yeah. This Thank is you. the Thank Ask you. the Brother segment, Kim. You know what, Sherry? Like it's, yeah. been, hey, it's been a pleasure. You know what? It's been a pleasure. I always like to be next to you. <laughs> <laughs> next time, can I be off my golf short? Let me get out of here. <laughs> All right, have a good that time was, oh my goodness, it's over. And you guys, if I'm you gonna have, learn my lines. Jesus. Yes, we're gonna get off I'm right now. Oh, this is when she gets off. irritated. This is it's starting to come out. I'm just gonna say this. If Kyle, you have, switch the car. If you have any questions, I think we're gonna do this segment with Chris and Kyle and Andre. Uh, it's a fun <laughs> segment. Men. You see how did they really Chris say, say anything? Yes, Chris did. He oh. was like, if you buy him a drink, he gets freaky with that. Absolutely. If I buy him a drink? Yes, if you buy him a drink and from across the bar, and you go, okay, okay. All right, Chris. He he like that turns him on. If you say send that guy a drink, yeah, whatever he wants. Yeah. Okay. When we get to St. Louis, okay, we got to do. You gonna have an alcohol? I'm say this, and we're gonna get off. If you have any questions for Shit, for know. men, Chris, Andre, Kyle, I think it's a lot of fun. Let ask. We're gonna get it raw and unfiltered of what they like. Your brother likes kissing. Oh. <laughs> That's really important to him, kissing that intimacy. Come oh, back. God. We got to say good night. <laughs> Bye, Sherry. Wait a minute, hold up. You guys, good night. We'll see you later. Two funny mamas. Bye bye, y'all. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas.